Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, good people of the internet. Can you guys hear me? Is my mic working? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to say how to chat real quick. Uh, Rose Wolf Magic, haven't been to one of your lives in ages. Welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Chicha2020, hello. Mechanomi Arts, hello. Uh, Kevin Ragland, hello. Slyfox23, hello. Matthew Draws, hello. Twilight King, hello. Seven Lascaris, hello. And to all the folks who are here but have not said hi in chat and are simply just gonna lurk and vibe for this stream, what's up to you guys as well? Hope you're all having an excellent day. I fought a wasp earlier in my home. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say about today. <laughs> Adainus, hello. Haley Brown, hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I was talking about it on Twitter, but I had to have a fight to the death with a wasp in my home earlier today. I'll tell you guys about it in a sec. But yeah, it's Drawing Comics Day. The day when we draw comics. Monday. Monday is comic drawing day. Got these pages drawn in my income. I'm a... I put the panels in here for some reason. Get out of there. Get out of this folder. You don't need to be in this folder. Bazam. There. Okay. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. Uh, I saw you had it trapped in the window or something. I assume you were just stuck with a roommate from now on. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. So if you guys have windows with, with blinds in your home, I want you to look at it. There's like a section up at the top of the window blinds. And that's like where they store like all the, the ropes and the nonsense when you like raise or lower the blinds. And um, when I noticed the wasp in my house, I actually noticed it because Milo was chasing it. <laughs> and uh, I saw it and I was like, how the fuck did that get in? I haven't been outside in like two days. Which means I haven't opened the door to my home in like two days. How'd it get in? Bugs keep getting into my house and I don't know how they're doing it. It makes me really mad. Anyway. Um, bugs get stuck in them all the time. Yes. And so I, um, it was like hanging out by my front door at first and I'm like, son of a bitch. And so I tried to kill it with a mop. I've got a mop that was just like in my little utility room. And so I grabbed it and I tried to squish it and I got it, but it didn't squish it hard enough. And uh, when I pulled the mop away, it flew away. And I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and I was like, this mop has killed many insects before, but not this wasp, apparently. Um, Twisted Disaster, hello. Yes, I'm gonna respond to chat once I'm done telling my wasp story. I don't wanna get too sidetracked, but yes, hello. Um, but yeah, and so I chased it around and I was like whacking at it with the mop and I'm like, be gone, be gone, do not sting me. Simply um, return to hell from whence ye came. <laughs> you buzzy son of a bitch. And uh, <laughs> ah. And so it flew up into the little like blinds, um, like contraption at the top of like one of my back windows. And I was like, fuck, how am I gonna get it out of there? And I, I briefly considered, like, because I have wasp killer spray I use outside. Um, because during the spring they like to make homes on, like, the eaves of my house and they don't get to live there unless they pay me rent, so I frick them off. Um, but it very explicitly says on the bottle, do not use it indoors, this shit's full of poison. Um, and so I didn't want to use that inside because I didn't want it to, like, be bad for me or the kitties. Or the kitties. Um, and so what I ended up doing was I couldn't get to it when it was in the little like blinds contraption. So I just, I just used packing tape to seal the way that it went in, uh, seal the way it went in through. Uh, one second. Pandasar X, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. I'm gonna I'm gonna say hi to chat again in a sec and read all your messages, but I want to get through my wasp story first so I don't get sidetracked. Um, and so I was like, I, I couldn't get in there to get to it, and I didn't want to like fuck with it too much because I didn't want it to come flying out and sting me. So I just I just went into my office and I grabbed a roll of packing tape and I sealed it in. <laughs> I just sealed it in. I knew it could still get out on the backside, the side that was facing the glass of the window. 
but I covered it up so it couldn't get out through the front side and then fly out into my home. And so what I did was I ended up closing the blinds as tight as I could close them so that if it got out, it would be trapped behind the window blinds, hopefully. Um, and so I just sat on my couch and I played Ark Knights on my iPad and I waited the sucker out. And about an hour later, I heard it like making noise as it was like skittering around in there. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> the fucker has returned. And uh, I, it was like trying to crawl out on the side that I had taped shut. And I was like poking at like the tape as it got like closer. My goal was, I would have loved it if it would have just gotten caught in the tape like a mouse trap. That would have been the easiest way, but no, of course that didn't work. So it couldn't come out through that end, so it ended up going out the back like I thought it would, but then it was stuck behind the blinds, and I was like, all right, now it is time for our battle to truly begin. You are locked into this position, but I have to open access to this area in order to get in there to kill you. And so that was a, a thing that I had to contend with for several minutes. Um, I tried to suck it up with my little hand vacuum. Not enough suck. I thought I got it several times, but it turns out it just like the wasp moved or it fell. And so uh, I didn't get it. And I was like, well, shit. And it's like, my mop was too big. I couldn't get it in there and it already failed me once already. So I just, I went and I grabbed a broom and I was like, this is pokey. Maybe, I, maybe I'll like, I can, if I squish it hard enough, I can like skewer it. <laughs> With a, uh, with like the broom bristles. I don't know if they're strong enough for that, but an attempt will be made. Um, and so I eventually got it with the broom. It took several minutes of me like opening the blinds, trying to see where it was, bap, 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 <laughs> with the broom, and then like panicking and shutting the blinds. And it would like, it's like it couldn't get past the blinds, right? And so I would like peel the blinds back from like the side and just like stick my broom in there. Just be like, bap, 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 bap. <laughs> all that and so eventually I was able to get it um I thought I got him like where to go where to go where to go and I looked and it was stuck in the bristles of the broom and I was like the beast is contained the beast is contained and so I really really quickly just took the entire broom and just yeeted it into my backyard <laughs> with the wasp still stuck inside it and I was like it's been taken care of. And I just went back to what I was doing. <laughs> so that was my wasp ordeal this afternoon. I technically had a second ordeal, but it's a lot less fun to tell because it is a story that was caused by my own negligence that I will, I will sum up with one sentence. Pumpkins get really gross really fast. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about the second story. <laughs> Because it's, it's it's gross, so I'm not going to say anymore. Anyway, I'm going to scroll up and look at chat again. Um, got it trapped in a window or something. Yeah, no, I was able to eventually get it out. Um, I caught up on cast off last night, and I have so many more questions now. Ha ha ha! Yes! Thank you for reading my webcomic. For those who are new here, hi, read my webcomic. <laughs> ha 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 ha! I hope you liked it. Hope you liked <laughs> but uh, as I've said in other streams, my writing style is very much make them ask questions and then eventually give them answers, but the answers only inspire more questions. It's addictive. Ha 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 ha. Um, I found you on TikTok and your art is super yummy. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, hope you're having a fun time. I am. I am. Thank you. Uh, I'm getting anxiety just t hearing the story. Imagine how I was feeling. <laughs> Imagine how I was feeling. I've got immediate trauma flashbacks to my second apartment that wasps would get in all the goddamn time. And they made a three inch long nest on my balcony. <laughs> ah! Br loss of the broom seems an accessible sacrifice. I mean, I'm gonna go out and get it later. I just, I need, I need time to go back and I need to heal mentally, which means it'll be out there for like two more weeks. <laughs> Never been so glad. I once threw a slipper at a wasp and it broke the window. What kind of slippers are you wearing? I assume that if it broke the window, this was not just like a, a fabric slipper. 
What kind of slipper is was this? Because my god. Either that or you must have very strong arms. Love your art and I really like your wasp story. Thank you. I hope you like my art more than you like the wasp story because the wasp story, terrifying. True experience of my life. <laughs> Remember seeing what I thought was a dead wasp on window and chose not to do anything two weeks later. It was crawling around very much alive. No! 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 I have like wasp related PTSD, I swear. One of my old apartments, wasps used to get in like every other week. It was constant. Hated the fuckers. I, by some miracle, I have never been stung. But my God, never ending battle. I just forgo the broom myself. The broom would just belong to the wasps. <laughs> nah, no, nah, that's my, that's my, I have two brooms. My broom. The wasps don't get to keep the broom just because one of their own is embedded inside it. I'll spray it off with the hose once I'm confident the wasp is dead. And then it's back to business. But it's gonna be out on that porch for like two weeks, so... Outdoor slipper. What material? Plastic or... What? Are we talking like a croc or something? <laughs> I want to say that I can handle a wasp entering a room as long as I'm, it doesn't come close then I lose it. <laughs> but like, I don't want wasps to be inside. That is not where they belong. And they especially do not belong inside of my home. Because I've never been stung by a wasp and I would like to keep that streak going, you know? This is my home. And you don't get to come in here unless I invite you. I wish, I wish that wasps were like vampires and you had to invite them in. It would make my life so much easier. I just say no to all wasps. Fuck out of my house. Be gone. Be gone. I would add like a rubber sole and then a fabric top. I guess I could see, yeah, if it was like thick and hefty, I guess that I could see how that broke a window, but damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Did you at least kill the wasp, though? <laughs> Did you at least kill the wasp? Oh man, I had, I had like two, like big beetles get into my house somehow. They were like the size of June bugs, but like thinner and longer. And they had like these massive fucking teeth. And I found two in one day, one in the morning, one in the evening, in like the exact same place. And I was like, what the fuck? I have never seen this type of bug before. And now there's two of them in my house in one day. What the fuck? Where are you coming from? Jeezy Louisey, my guy. What the hell? Sometimes you have to openly invite a vampire in your home or they can't do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish more things were like vampires. Just never invite them in. Wasps? Nah. Bugs? Nah. Cockroaches? Nah. Fuck out of my house. Be gone. Ghosts? Fuck off. Fuck off, maybe. <laughs> I mean, then all of a sudden something flew over my shoulder. Huge palmetto bug. No, I hate that. Oh, I have a, I have a cockroach story. Um, it's... <laughs> so, um, my thing is, like, I'm not scared of bugs unless they could hurt me. Like, a wasp, not into it. But, like, roaches, if I see one, it's like, all right, here comes the fucking shoe. Um, and... <laughs> One time in my freshman year of college, me and my friends were like hanging around outside of one of their dorms. It was like 2 a.m. Why were we hanging around outside at 2 a.m.? I don't fucking know. Uh, we were walking around like the dorms and uh, our dorms were laid out like an old motel. So it was like a two story building and it was very like maze like and all of the hallways were outside. So they were like exterior hallways and the, the room doors were just like lining the walls basically and uh we were just like i think we were like walking one of our friends back to their rooms 
and uh, these two, as we're walking, these two girls bolt out of one of the rooms, just like screaming a little bit. And they were like, they looked at us and they just like pointed at us. And they were like, good citizens of the night, we require your aid. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's 2 a.m., what is going on? And they were like, there is a cockroach in our closet. Can one of you come kill it? <laughs> And so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so so um, they, they were like four of us like walking and they were like, it's in, it's in the closet. Can you, can, can one of you, does one of you like have a shoe? <laughs> and so I was wearing flip flops. And so I like took off one of my flip flops and they like showed us, it was like, it's in there. And, <laughs> and so I was just like, yup. And I just smack, <laughs> killed it. And then we ended up like, sweeping it outside. It was really gross, but they were like, thank you, random people. And then I never spoke to them again. <laughs> that was just fun things that just happened at 2 a.m. in college. Good citizens of the night. That is literally what they said. I'm not exaggerating. They actually said it's like, good citizens of the night. Help us kill a wasp it's in our closet. <laughs> it was very funny. It was very funny. Oh man, so I added a new thing to my stream deck um, where I can make a stream marker whenever something funny happens or I tell a silly story and it makes it easier when I go back and make clips later. Because I've been trying to like advertise my streams more um, now that I'm using like YouTube shorts and stuff like that and my, my social media scheduler has like um, it can post reels to Instagram automatically and it can post TikToks automatically so I can just like schedule them in the app and then it'll post automatically and it's really handy. And so I've been trying to get like to advertise my streams more so that like, you know, more, more viewers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, and so another thing is like, okay, well, if I'm going to be doing this, then I should like start marking whenever funny things happen so I don't have to rewatch my entire stream to get funny clips and nonsense. Um... So now I have a button on my stream deck that whenever something funny happens, I can just press a button and it makes a little marker on it in Twitch. And then I can just go make it a, a Twitch clip later. Thank you for the head pats. Bite that hand. Nah. <laughs> Had a crab in your room? How did a crab get into your room? Do you live near the ocean? If you say no, that story is going to get a lot more terrifying. Like, no, I live in Kansas. There's no ocean anywhere. One day, randomly, there was a crab in my home. <laughs> I have a similar story about scorpions. <laughs> um, I have only seen scorpions like two or three times in my life. And for whatever reason, I've only ever seen them indoors because I hate that. Um, guess you joined your Patreon for the month. <gasps> Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad you did well at your craft show, too. Congratulations. That's awesome. Mm. I hate it when I live in the middle of a country and a crab shows up to my home. <laughs> but yeah, I've got, a, I've got a scorpion story. So, um... A couple of years ago, like, when was this? I was in college. No, I had just graduated college. I think. This would have been, like, ten years ago. And, um... At one point, my family and I, like, we rented a beach house uh, in the Cayman Islands, and we were staying out there for, like, a week. And um, one of the day, we were, like, so it was me and my family and our neighbors and their whole family. So there was, like, ten of us at all, like, all renting this house, right? Um, and so one morning, we had woken up super early because we were, um, we were scheduled for some sort of activity. I don't remember which activity it was. Um, but we were all really frantic because we were running late for our activity. And, um, we're trying to get out the door, but there's 10 of us and like someone's brushing their teeth and someone's washing their hands and someone still has to put pants on and da 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 da. And then in the middle of this, we're almost ready. We're almost out the door. And then all of a sudden I hear my mom yell, Scorpion! There's a scorpion in the bathroom! <laughs> so I, I run in there and sure enough, massive scorpion, like huge, like tarantula, like this thing could have taken on a tarantula in one 
like big scorpion, island dwelling scorpion, big motherfucker. And it was like big and it was brown and it was real scary looking. And my mom's like freaking out. And she's like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? He's like, we're already running late. We should have left like 10 minutes ago. And now there's a scorpion in the bathroom. And so we're trying to think, it's like, how do we get rid of a scorpion? What do we do? What do we do? None of us have like ever seen a scorpion, nonetheless one this big. And so we're like all screaming and all freaking out. And I remember what I did. <laughs> we had some uh, sandcastle equipment outside on the porch because we had been making sandcastles the day before. And uh, I ran outside. I got a bucket. I ran back inside. I put a bucket on top of the scorpion and I said, we will deal with this when we get back. <laughs> and that's what we did. We closed the bathroom door. So there was just a bucket with a scorpion underneath it. <laughs> We just left it there for like four hours while we were gone during our activity. And we came back and we just like managed to scoop it into the bucket and we just yeeted it outside into the bushes. <laughs> it's just, scorpion, scorpion, oh, what do we do? You put it under a bucket and you deal with it later. <laughs> yep, that is, I find that you can solve most problems by putting them under a bucket and dealing with them later. You know, imagine a burglar entered and turned up the bucket. And yeah, I was like, congratulations, bitch, scorpion. <laughs> you didn't just pick it up. No, I don't touch anything that could sting me, no matter how much it would hurt or not. I don't want to get stung. Doesn't matter how scary or not scary it is. Do not, I'm not interested. Just want hugs. He can get hugs for other scorpions. I'm not interested. I don't, I choose not to touch anything that could sting me. I, I, I have a sense of self-preservation, believe it or not. Believe it or not. There are no scorpions where I grew up in the USA, lucky. But my parents came here from Colombia and my mother, the Scorpio, is deathly scared of them to the point when every time I yelled about a spider, she always thought it was a scorpion and I always had to ask, what warm weather scorpion is scuttling around in New, J New Jersey winter, mom? <laughs> yeah, just give the apartment to the scorpion at that point. Just burn it down. Just burn it down at that point. Yep, yep. Scorpion in the house, burn it down. Burn the whole thing down. Burn it down. <laughs> Crispy scorpion, dig it out of the wreckage of your home later. Mm -hmm. Second mummy movie where the rock just eats one. Ew! 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 <laughs> it's like, I've seen like scorpion lollipops and shit. I'm like, ugh, no thank you. No, thank you. I'm not interested. I've seen a lot of like other streamers doing like, I guess like some like hashtag gamer fuel company has started selling like fried meal worms or like st shit like that for like streamers to eat on stream for like a challenge. And I'm like, no, thanks. No, thanks. I will eat a lot of things. I once ate a Skittle that had been on the floor of my mom's car for six months. I don't think I would eat a scorpion. I feel like, I, I talked about in my fears video that I don't like eating things that still look like the animals. Like you carve off a slice of turkey, I will eat it. If you like hand me a like small bird, but the entire bird is just on my plate, I would not eat that. Which of your cast off characters would eat a bug? Uh, Rory would if you paid her. Ariana would because she saw Rory do it, and she has a sense of superiority. Frankie might do it for the gag, but he'd have to spit it out when no one was looking. Vector would simply pass out, and Marina would not. Ever. <laughs> I hate the crawfish still look alive. Yeah, like, fish and stuff are, like, my one exception. Um, my neighbors, when I was growing up, they d would do a crawfish broil every Easter. And I would eat a hundred of those little fucks. 
Um, like fish, it the, the fear does not extend to fish for whatever reason. Fish and seafood is like whatever. But like everything else is just, it's too weird for me too much. You're stronger than I. Um, nom, 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 nom. They're spicy. They're spicy. Spicy, spicy. I think it helps for me because they look like little lobsters, and I like lobsters. For for looking at them and also for eating them. <laughs> I uh, I remember when I was working in Japan. Um, Something you need to know about me. Unironically, my favorite animals are lobsters. I just think they're neat. Um, <laughs> I know, I know. Big talk from someone scared of scorpions, but a lobster, a lobster will not sting me. Therefore, I like them much better than than scorpions. Anyway, um, so I, I like lobsters. I unironically like lobsters. I also think that they are very tasty. And I think that both of those things can be true at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and we were playing this like English game where everybody in the room like you pass a ball around and so whenever you you catch the ball you have to say an English word based on the topic it was like uh concentration and so at some point we were like okay everyone say your favorite animal and so whenever someone caught the ball you had to say your favorite animal and so everyone was tossing me around, I was like, dogs, cats. And when I caught it, I was like, uh, lobster. And all the kids are like, eh, what, what, nani, nani. It was really cute. And they're like, Starla likes lobsters? What, that's weird. And <laughs> um, later on in the game, the topic was food. It's like, okay, everyone, when you catch the ball, say your favorite food. And so everyone was like, uh, rice, teriyaki. And when I caught it, I said, Lobster! And we had to stop the game because everyone lost their shit. <laughs> we had to stop the game because all the kids were like, I thought you said those were your favorite animals! And I'm like, yeah, they're great! And they also taste good! Both things can be true! <laughs> So that's, uh, that's my story. <laughs> Lobsters and crab are super tasty. Yeah, they are! Like, listen, I can enjoy a lobster aesthetically and also deliciously. <laughs> At that point, I would just think you're messing with me. Yeah, they probably thought I was too, but I mean, like, listen, I like lobsters. I like to eat lobster. They taste good. If, uh, you can eat them if they die. Yeah! It's recycling! <laughs> Would I do that to any other animal? No. But, but lobster! <laughs> Reverse cat vibes? Yeah, I'm the cat in this scenario. Wonderful life partner lobster. And when they die, you can consume them for power. <laughs> People are gonna get some. I I'm sorry to the some people who are here that this might be their first stream. I'm sorry I'm like this. I'm sorry I'm like this. I uh, I posted like I've started posting my uh, my VTuber like highlight reels on TikTok or uh, not on TikTok on uh, Instagram. I uh, I saw that like reels were maybe another way to get new folks to my streams, and so I started trying to use them there. And, uh, so I, I got a lot of traction on the one I posted yesterday, and so I feel like there's probably some- there may very well be some new people in chat today, and this is their first time experiencing... me? Sorry I'm like this. I can't change what I am, though. I, I will consume a lobster. Cooked. I have a giant lobster plushie that's like the size of my torso. His name is Twinkle, and I love him very much. Um, I have a pro pillow that's like kind of salmon-y pink, and it has a gold sequin lobster embroidered onto it. Which is pretty great. I love that throw pillow very, very much. It does make me itchy if I touch the sequins, so I can't 
put it on I can't like keep it on my couch really, but it's it's decorative. It's a throw pillow. Um <laughs> I enjoy a lobster. Oh, and my brother got me a welcome mat that has a lobster on it. I use it on my back porch. As cute as a lobster. Would you befriend a lobster? Yeah, I befriend a lobster. I would make it fight other lobsters. That's what we used to do at the crawfish broils. We would make the crawfish fight each other. We would like put two of them in a bucket and try and get them to fight and they would like raise their claws up at each other. They would be like, yeah. <laughs> Wish they could die peacefully with the amount of suffering they go through the supermarket. Yeah, that part kind of sucks. I will admit that that part does kind of suck. That's true of like any animal, but it sucks that like lobsters were like kept alive for all that, right? Very shitty. <laughs> Lobster deathmatch, yup. I just realized that I've been sitting here talking about like food and shit and Ariana is unironically eating on this page. Subconscious topics of conversation. Oops, a doodle. Oopsie doodles. <laughs> Giving the lobster a great new home. My stomach. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Has your comic workflow evolved at any point? point during the course of making it. Yeah, constantly. Constantly evolving. Um, if I ever find, like, a more efficient way to do things, I change it. Like, in the last... Uh, you have to understand, I've been making comics for, like, 12 years. Like, I've technically been doing it longer than that, but I started my first webcomic in 2010. That's a long fucking time. <laughs> and so, uh... You know, like, you, you figure things out, you learn how to expedite the process, you learn new tools, you get new tools. And so, yeah, like, the process evolves constantly. You don't want to be stuck in the, uh... You want, don't want to be stuck doing the same thing all the time if there's a better and faster way to do things, right? Hands, 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 bleh, <laughs> bleh, I really like your VTuber model, thank you, I appreciate that, I'm anime girl, <laughs> bread, yes, cast off is now food comic, fair warning, there is like a sudden tone shift at chapter 11. It just suddenly transforms into a cooking comic. I would not be able to handle that. One, I don't know shit about cooking. Number two, drawing food is kind of a pain in the ass to get it to look good. Is it brown bread? Yes. <laughs> just because MasterChef, yeah, like 650 pages into the comic. Just suddenly Master Chef. Master Chef fantasy class. There's already a comic about that though. It's like Dungeon Meishi, right? I haven't read it, but I've heard it's good, and I think it's getting an anime soon. You defeat the queen in a cooking contest? Yeah. The epic fight at the end of the comic is just cooking face off the filler arc. <laughs> Keep my eyes open for a VTuber model commission slot. I've considered it. I'm simply a coward. And I don't know how much to charge. <laughs> it's my issue. Mm. What is brown bread? I had a mental breakdown about the Cheesecake Factory brown bread a couple of weeks ago on a stream, and now people tease me about it. 
I'm not gonna go into the whole spiel about the Cheesecake Factory brown bread because it will turn into an hour long tangent, but <laughs> this is the thing that happened. <clears throat> I found in store thrice and sesame. Fuck you, Alex! Mail me some of the brown bread! My fucking Walmart never has it! And I'm so mad! Ah, oh, I was in town the other day. I should have looked, but I didn't think about it because we didn't go to any stores that would have had it. Damn it! Damn it! Ugh. <laughs> brown bread craving werewolf. Look, you're not wrong, but also. Ah! What stream? I don't think it was archived, but there's clips of it on my Twitch. <laughs> I, uh... Before a certain point, I didn't archive my uh, art streams. Just because I didn't see the need to. So a lot of my old art streams aren't archived, but there are clips of it on, um, if you look on Twitch, and you do, like, popular clips, I think probably in the last 30 days you'll find it. But, I don't know, Twitch's clip search is not the best. In fact, it's pretty garbo. Find it for the content! The brown bread content! Mm. Mm. I just want to eat the brown bread. How long ago was the stream? I... Bold of you to assume I have any understanding of the passage of time. I don't know how long ago yesterday was. All streams bleed together to me. It was pretty recent low, below. It was in like the last three months, I think. But yeah. The saga of the brown bread. The legendary mental breakdown. Because my thing is, like, I used to work at a cheesecake factory, and I'm like, the best part of working at the cheesecake factory was the fact that they let you eat as much of the brown bread as you want. And then I googled what it was called, like, what type of bread it was. Is like, is it, like, a wheat bread or a rye bread? I don't know, I'm gonna look it up. And they literally, on their website, they literally just call it the brown bread. Like, seriously. <laughs> and I just got such a fucking kick out of that. It is now a legendary stream moment. It's been lost to time somewhat, but the clips are still there. <laughs> I'm the, from the future and this still looks awesome. Oh yeah? Well, I'm glad you think so, thank you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, if you're from the future, what are they talking about on this page? Because you've obviously seen the whole thing, right? Hee hee. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> hey, let me ask you guys a question. Let me ask you guys a question. <laughs> the one artist that might make fan merch of the brown bread? Mm, debatable, but I don't know if anyone up besides me would think that was funny. <laughs> um, I have a question for you guys. So, a lot of streamers when they're talking about, it's like, you should come to my stream, and then they try to describe the vibe of the stream. They'll be like, I have really comfy vibes, or like, I have chill vibes, or I have like chaotic vibes, and we are crazy on stream. I don't know what my vibe is, because I feel like I don't fall into any of like the common ones. I'm not cozy, because I'm too ornery for that, I think. <laughs> I'm way too ornery for that. Um, but I'm not like, mm, I don't know, silly, star vibes. That's not very descriptive, but I agree with you. But yeah, I've been trying to figure it out. I, the best word I've come up with is chaotic. Buttles of Broadway. Shut up! Shut! Oh my god! <laughs> Chaotic, relaxing, you are chaos, watching you work is relaxing. Amazing. I, I love that, actually. 
Yeah, because, like, compared to other people, I'm not as chaotic as them. I'm really only chaotic when I'm playing games or something. Like, my art streams get weird, but it's usually in, like, short bursts, so I don't think that's my entire brand, really. Being bullied by fans constantly. How dare you? How dare you? I just have to I'm gonna force you guys to watch six hours of anti-bullying PSAs. I'm just gonna go on YouTube and look up anti-bullying PSAs, and we're just gonna watch all of them. Every single one. <laughs> when you get weird, it's usually our fault. Yeah! At least you know! <laughs> At least you know! <laughs> Please don't, they're all the same. I'd watch that. Okay, it's one to one! Fight! Fight! For my amusement! Fight! <laughs> Fight! Participate in combat for my amusement chat. So excited for this month's mail club. Yeah, I'm probably gonna work on mailing those out tomorrow or later in the week. Scammer butthole. Ah! How could you say such things to me? <laughs> How could you? How could you say such cursed words to in, in front of my eyeballs? Oh, but speaking of scammer vibes, if you guys haven't watched that video, it's not gonna make a lot of sense but <laughs> um, the short version is that I made a YouTube video about it, but someone um, accused me of stealing all the brushes that I sell and not actually making them. Um, you can watch that video on the YouTubes. Link to it. It should be like the first video that pops up. I joined Rider Star said, butthole, leave. Leave and come back. <laughs> come back on a different energy. <laughs> Same, both of you leave. <laughs> leave and then come back. We can't start the stream with this energy. Scan me into buying art stuffs, so yeah. I'm, I'm awful scammer, yeah. Yeah, that guy, quote unquote that guy, yeah. Uh, but I was thinking, so here's the thing. I know that people are like, don't get caught up on the numbers. Just, just do what you, just stream what you like to stream. And while I agree with that to some point, I still want, my streams to do better, right? The apology video, yes. And so like, I, I was looking at my Twitch analytics recently and it was like, my view counts are always much better for art streams, which I mean, makes sense because you know, people, I am an artist. I advertise myself as an artist. Art is my job. It is also my like, my hobby. It's my job and my hobby, a dangerous combination. Um, and so people see me on the internet and they're like, ah, yes, an artist. I want to watch the artist draw an art. And so it makes sense that my, my art related streams do a lot better than my video game streams. My jobby, yeah. <laughs> um, and so like, I'm not gonna stop doing video game streams because they're fun, they're easy. I get to share like a fun little experience and a story with you guys. I value that a lot. And then those VODs are on my YouTube forever. So people can go back and watch them and it's fun. And I don't care that not a lot of people watch them. It's fun. Um, but kind of seeing the proof is in the pudding that like, yes, more people are interested in your streams when you're doing something art related because that is how you market yourself and that is what people come to see you for. Um, it's made me like, okay, I need to do more art streams. I should probably start filling my Wednesday streams by doing art. It's like, I wanna keep doing my longer format game streams on Friday, but um, I should do more art related topics as well. And uh, so I was trying to think, it's like the problem with art streams is I don't always have something to be working on, right? Cause like I can do um, like these comic streams every week because I have comic work that needs to be done. Right? And so I can just sit here and work on comic work. But um, I don't always have comic work to work on. Like I usually finish my comic work for the week on Tuesdays and then I, I'm not actively taking commissions. So I don't have anything of that to do. And it's like working on personal art on stream just feels kind of weird. And so I was trying to think of like other art related streams I could do. It's like I could open commissions and like have like one slot open per stream and then just spend the whole stream working on that one piece. And then when I'm done with the stream, I just don't have to worry about commissions anymore. 
It's like, that's an idea. And that would get me some extra pocket money too, but eh, I wasn't like a huge fan of it. And then I was, I was, I've been trying to think of like other art related streams that I could do. And uh, I've come up with a couple of ideas. So one of them that I want to do is like a brush making stream. And I would probably do multiple of these just because I, I keep saying that I'm working on a new brush pack and my brush packs sell really well. And so I obviously want to make more of them, but I just haven't really set aside time to do it. And people always ask me how I make my brushes. And so I think it would be cool if I like made them on stream and then people could watch me do it. And then no one can accuse me of stealing my brushes anymore because you will have video evidence that I made them myself because I streamed it, you son of a bitch. Anyway, ha <laughs> sorry, I got a little aggro there. It's almost like someone once tried to accuse all of my followers that I stole my brushes and then were selling them back to people. It's almost like that happened. <laughs> this time I'm all have archived video evidence. <laughs> So I can point at them and say, fuck you, and I can dunk on them for clout. Anyway. <laughs> so that's an idea that I have. And like, I could take uh, requests or suggestions for brushes on stream, which I think would be really fun. It's like, I challenge you to make a brush like this and I'd see what I could come up with like during the course of the stream, a dumpster ass. <laughs> no! <laughs> what, just a brush that just like draws asses? Like that, just an ass brush, a booty ass brush. Is that what you want from me? Is that what you want? <laughs> I feel like the brush idea would give you a lot of reusable contests for dunking. Yeah, it would. So that that's an idea that I had. Another idea that I have, and I'm not sure if I would do these as frequently, um, but I think it would be a lot of fun to do like gesture drawing streams where like I just take an hour and we just all like, it's designed to be like a draw along where we all just draw together. Like I put up a reference picture on stream and I set a timer for like two minutes and we all just try to do some gesture draws. And that could be like a weekly thing, maybe on like Sunday mornings or something. I don't know, I think it'd be fun. Cause I've been meaning to um, do more art studies and stuff. I feel like my art's been a little stagnant and there's some stuff that I could use improvement on. And so I think that would be fun if we did like some uh, some like art studies and some gesture drawings and some like anatomy classes and things like that. And you guys could like draw along with me and we'd all learn, it's fun. I think it could be like a Sunday morning draw class. I think that would be fun. It would mean adding more streams uh, to my weekly lineup, but Brother can't stream every Wednesday, so I would need something to fill in my extra Wednesdays. Like, we're streaming together this Wednesday, but next Wednesday he's gonna be busy. Um, and I'm thinking of doing my brush stream then. But yeah, I'm just trying to think of other art-related stream ideas. Cause like, you go on YouTube and you look up like how to improve as an art streamer, how to grow your art stream, and like fucking nobody has any videos on that topic. It's like, it, what? <laughs> like, come on. And I feel like it's like, do I need to make the videos? Am I gonna be the first person who's like, hey, if you're a streamer and you stream art, here's how to grow your channel. But I have to grow my channel first to figure out what works first. <laughs> like, I feel like the big successful art streamers are just popular artists more than anything else, but I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't know. All that to say that if you guys have any ideas for art-related streams that I could do, hit me with them. Also, hi, Don. What's up? Go draw in. Draw in some bread. <laughs> bread. Don't know what would necessarily work in terms of growth, but the ideas sure sound fun as heck. I'm glad you think so. I think they would be fun as well. One dedicated art stream, one dedicated game stream, and one flex stream is a pretty good schedule. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I've got going on so far. Like my Mondays are always art streams. My, my uh, Fridays are always game streams because that's when I do like my longer series. Um, and then my Wednesdays are kind of flexible question mark. 
Because, like, I usually do, like, collabs on Wednesdays. My thing with my, my playing Bloodborne with my brother has been on Wednesdays just because, like, I needed to film that time slot. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn that timer off. Stream elements, like, think I forget to turn off certain timers. Just ignore stream elements when it talks about spoilers. <laughs> Draw saucy, borderline, not safe for work stuff. I I'm good. I don't want to get banned off Twitch. <laughs> Making merch, perhaps. I I've streamed that before. Um, but in the end, it just kind of ends up being a normal art stream, right? <laughs> Here, I'll draw... Wow! If you use your imagination, that's a titty! Break out the 1,000 million views! Yay! <laughs> Yay! My first and last not safe for work art. Let's go. Scandalous. Banned. Oh my god. <laughs> Not safe for work, meaning cast off characters violating workplace safety rules. Yeah, no, I still want to do that. I want to make, like, a joke tier on my Patreon that's, like, the cast off not safe for work tier. And it's literally just, like, a bunch of, like, downloadable wallpapers of the characters committing OSHA violations. Because, <laughs> like, I... I know that people are like, oh yeah, or, yeah, you draw not safe for work, you get a billion dollars immediately because everybody's like horny and they'll pay out the ass for like horny arts. And I'm like, one, not not interested. Two, my version's funnier. <laughs> and support the OSHA violations page. Rory standing on a spinny chair. Yeah. Wait, wait. What if I make that the April Mail Club? <laughs> There's like a postcard! <laughs> and like one of the stickers is Rory on a spinny chair and there's another one of like someone climbing a ladder without the proper supports. <laughs> Let's go! April Fool's Mail Club! Let's go! I'm closing my blinds real quick because it got dark outside really fast. Subscribe to your Patreon just for that. Yeah! Hook them in! You start a stream entitled Drawing Tits and Boobies and you drew the birds. What if we just did that and it was like an entire stream of just drawing birds? <laughs> but we draw birds with boobs. <laughs> You want to see how horny I can make this pelican? It's big titties! <laughs> bird stream, bird stream. You know, I'm like, I'm pretty bad at drawing animals, so that could absolutely be like a thing that we do to just like, let's get better at drawing birds and we give them all titties. So, cause we're drawing tits and boobies today and pelicans. <laughs> and people could be like, this is false advertising. And I'm like, fuck you, look at this bird. <laughs> <laughs> my stream marker little button on my uh on my stream deck is uh getting a lot of use tonight done so many horse streams you can do a bird stream yeah but all those horse streams were against my will the one thing about drawing a fantasy comic i trade in never having to draw cars but now i have to draw horses what the fuck <laughs> joke is there are birds named tits and boobies yes that is yes that's the joke. Yup. At a bird friend of the comic? You can't make me. <laughs> there almost was a bird friend in the comic. There's like old art featuring bird friend. I might squeeze bird friend in at some point, but it would be like a very non sequent or a non consequential cameo bird friend. Bird friend. Imagine Defector had that crow still. Yeah! Bird friend. Oh man, you guys, it's gotten to the point where even the Webtoons commenters are like, when's the purple character gonna show up? When's the purple character gonna show up? And I'm like, oh geez, now Webtoons at it too. 
This was originally contained to just uh, just the website and the Discord, but now now the Webtoon kids are asking, where's Purple? Purple confirmed? Oh my god, she said the word purple on live stream. Purple confirmed? Purple confirmed! <laughs> Plot twist, the purple cast off red is a penguin. <laughs> Penguins aren't purple. But purple is queen, yeah. Exactly. And they haven't seemed to catch on to that yet. <laughs> it's like, hello? Hello? Webtoon j j just like gestures emphatically at the queen is like, hello? Purple! Oi! And like Sonya's purple too, and uh, like Liam is also kind of sort of purple. Like they're all purple. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's because purple is the color of nobility and color theory. But that's just a theory. A color theory. <laughs> I think the queen's eyes just need to glow and then they'll get it. Yeah, eventually. Eventually. I thought it could be Liam until we met the queen. Yeah. I'm just throwing in a lot of purples. But the people will not be satisfied. People will not be satisfied until they see the eye glow. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait a bit because queen doesn't show up again for a while. Purple herrings. Yeah! <laughs> Just those little bitty fish. They're all purple. Sonya isn't out of the question, though. She's, she sh shouldn't be, and everyone's like, oh my god, she's not purple! And I'm like, the purple, right there! Hiromitsu47, thank you for the raid! Welcome, 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 welcome! What the heck is up? Welcome to Strim! What were you working on? I hope you had a nice Strim. <laughs> a cast off color theory. <laughs> I'm enjoying the magic system you have going, by the way. Well, thank you! Thank you. I am happy when people like the silly things that I have created because sometimes I get like, when you work on the same project for so long, sometimes you start to get like the self doubt. You're like, man, maybe this isn't very fun or cool at all. And so every now and then getting someone say, hey, I like this thing. It's like, ah, people do like, people still like the thing. Whew, I'm safe. <laughs> People still like the thing. I'm good. Interesting system. Thank you. But yeah, I've talked about this before. A lot of cast offs like world building and magic um, kind of comes from the desire to see like the limitations of a magic system, right? And just like playing around within the limitations of it. It's like setting the limits and seeing what characters can do. How resourceful can you be within the limits of this world system? Is that a cat peeping or Siri on my iPad activating across the room? I don't know. Purple character is an Indiana Jones spoof with purple vine magic. <laughs> da 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 I only have, so after these two pages, I've only got one more page until the end of this scene. Uh, and we're, we're closing in on some very cool stuff that's like the whole point of this chapter. And I'm like, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm gonna get to draw some cool stuff soon. I'm so excited. I've said this before and I will say it again. Um, take this with a big old grain of salt because it's not like the comic is going to very abruptly shift genres or anything. It's not going to do that. But what I will say is that chapter 10 or uh, chapter 11, the one we're in right now, this upcoming bit is the closest the comic is ever going to get to tr like horror in the genre, right? It's not gonna very suddenly do a genre shift. I was just like, as I was like scripting it and thinking about it, I'm like, huh, this kind of feels like the setting for like a horror game. This, this, this setting that's happening and some of the stuff that is happening. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Not gonna kill off half the characters for shock value. Not at the same time. Not all at the same time. You gotta spread that shit out like butter. 
I can savor it. <laughs> they will die one at a time. Yeah, I don't want you guys to like get too, too, too excited because like I said, it's, 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 it's not like I'm gonna suddenly be able to put the horror tag on the comic or anything. It's just like, I, I play around with a little bit of spooky stuff in this, uh, this coming chapter that I'm, I'm very excited about. And it, it, it doesn't last terribly long, but if I elaborate on it too much more, it's gonna be spoilers, so. I'm gonna get to draw some fun stuff, I'll put it that way. Between the recent reveals we got on Patreon and upcoming horror stuff, this is making me so excited. Yeah, patrons have been, gotten like a lot of fun reveals over the last uh, couple of weeks and uh, normal site people are getting them now. But yeah, got some fun shit coming up for you guys. I'm, I'm very excited. I need to finish scripting this arc though because oh, I'm, I've been procrastinating and I'm like, I'm already a chunk of the way into chapter 11 and I'm not done scripting chapter 12 yet. And I'm like, oh God. Oh, jeez. Oh, beans. I need, so I'm doing NaNoWriMo this month, but instead of writing a novel, I'm just, uh, I'm trying to write 50,000 words of like scripts. So between comic scripts and YouTube video scripts, I'm trying to do 50,000 words just to like motivate myself to write. And I've got several YouTube video scripts finished and now I'm just like, okay, now that you've got like a nice backlog of those, it's time to work on your comic script. Comic script. Comic scripts. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just because this the stuff that I'm working on is like really hard to write. It's, it's, it's a very tricky part of the story. And it's like, ugh, duh, duh. Yeah, no, it's not gonna go into body horror. I don't think the comic is ever gonna get into stuff like that. It's more, I say horror, it's more in like the atmospheric sense, I guess. There's not gonna be anything like actually scary in it, except for like maybe one thing. But even that, it's like, it's very mild. It's not gonna be like actually scary. It's more the atmosphere. I'm still excited about it though. Old version did actually have it. Yeah, well, we don't have to talk about Centipede Vector today. Centipede Vector keep coming, keeps coming up on stream. He needs, Centipede Vector is dead and needs to stay dead. <laughs> Finished cast off back in September because I was hoping to see Scared Sad Boy at least be able to become Scared Happy Boy. Mm, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. There's a, there's a boy right there. There's a lad. There's a heckin' lad right there. Look at him. Look at this lad. There's a sad lad right there. This bad boy can fit so many sad boys in it. Let's go. Sad air horns. Purr, 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 purr. <laughs> bwah, bwah, bwah. My lad, your hand is huge. I accidentally gave him just a barely visible yaoi hand. We're gonna turn that down a little bit. Oops a doodles. Oops a doodles. We love the accidental yaoi hands. You get happier than he was previously. The binging achieved its intended purpose. Yeah. But now he's sad again. Look at him! He's got a tummy ache. And he's being so brave about it. Look at him. What do you guys think they're talking about? They're sitting here talking about stuff. What do you guys think they're talking about in this scene? Did he have too much bread? Yeah, he had a, he's got a tummy ache. <laughs> That's why they can't find brown bread. Vector ate it all. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Vector, you can't eat that much of the brown bread. I know that you get all you can eat if you work at the Cheesecake Factory. But you shouldn't eat that much of it. It'll make you sick, just like too much of anything. I had to take a picture of myself doing this pose as a reference because it's just like, what the fuck do your hands do when you're doing this? Ah! 
On your TikTok, I thought would play games and not illustrate a comic or my notifications were go up on these times. I mean, I play games and draw. So like Mondays are art streams usually, Wednesdays I kind of go back and forth. Fridays are game streams usually. Um, if you go on my YouTube, I have like a schedule. Uh, I like pre-schedule all of my streams in advance. I also post it on Twitter uh, and I also post it on my Discord. So, you know. Many places. Many places to find stream schedule. I just have more clips of my video game streams because those are easier to clip. Plays games with our mind. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You know you like it. So one thing I would love to do, one thing I would love to do, that I would really love to do, is a freaking TikTok would give me a stream key so I can stream from my computer on TikTok, but they won't give me one. I tried complaining on Twitter and it didn't work. They ignored me, they left me on red. And I stream on TikTok occasionally. And they just, I have like almost, I have like over 150,000 followers on there and I stream occasionally. So you'd think they just, Give me a damn screen. Give me a damn stream key, but they won't. They're playing hard to get. And I found like a place that's like, hey, if you submit an application, we'll try and get you a stream key for TikTok. And so I, I did that. And it, they said they have like a month wait time. So I'm just over here like pouting. No, stream key. S-T-R-E-A-M. I don't need a key to stream. Or a, a, a key to scream. I do that all the time. Ah, see, I did it. But yeah, like I, I would love to be able to stream on TikTok and YouTube and Twitch all at the same time. But TikTok won't let me. They're cock blocking me. Rude. <laughs> I love your comic. I hope you have a good evening, night, day. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the comic. And thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good rest of your day. <laughs> oh, hydrate and stretch break? Dang. Dang. Stretching. Everybody stick your hands in the air. And stretch. <laughs> okay, and now that my hands are asleep. Uh -huh. Take a heck and sip, babes. But yeah, like I said earlier, I'm just like trying to get my streams out there more and promote myself. And I'm like, if I could stream on TikTok too, that would be lovely. Cause like I stream on TikTok occasionally. My TikTok streams, I do art streams there, but I just like record my tablet with my phone. And it's real janky because like the screen wiggles when I draw. Um, and so I want a stream key for TikTok so that I can just stream my OBS and then I can like use my VTuber model too and it'd be nice. But they won't give me a dang stream key and like, why don't you just give one to everybody who qualifies for it, fucking TikTok? Stupid. Like, why do you need people to like apply for it? Just give me one. Give me one, damn it. I want to use your platform and you're making it actively more difficult to do so. Fuck you, TikTok. Sheesh. <laughs> Got it. I'm grumpy. I simply want to scream. <laughs> On multiple platforms at once. And TikTok is like, fuck you. It literally tells me after every stream I do, it's like, wow, you've got amazing retention. It's like, wow, it's like you have more viewers on your live stream than like 99% of other people with a platform your size. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Can I have a stream key? And they're like, fuck you. <laughs> like, damn, okay. Okay. 
bringing value to your platform, but I guess I'm not worth a stream key, stupid. Okay, I, I need to stop whinging about TikTok. Or else I'm just gonna get on a roll. <laughs> Keep at it, I guess, yeah. Hoping that maybe the people I sent the form to, they'll get back to me eventually, but they've got like a month lead time right now and it's, I'm not good at being patient. Oh, rumpf. Oh, rumpf. Oh, I'm grumpy. Grumpy. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is my grumpy noise. Mm. <laughs> Need something else to whinge about? Um, I've gotten so many scam texts in the last couple of days. Like, I usually get, like, one or two a day from people who are like, Hey, uh, your Amazon account has been suspended for suspicious activity. Click this totally not suspicious link to get your account back. And I'm like, no, it's coming from, like, a fucking email address with a bajillion, like, numbers in it. I'm not gonna click on that. And I usually, like I said, I usually get, like, one or two a day, maybe. Yesterday I got seven. Seven. Why the fuck? Are you sending me so many? I don't click on them. I'm not gonna suddenly be like, oh my gosh, maybe this time it's real and then click on it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Ah. That one saying it was the UPS, yeah. They always pretend to be somebody important. Eat. <laughs> called us and told us one of our computers had a virus, but none of our computers were turned on. It's like, bro, how do you know my computer's got a virus? Are you the computer? Is this the computer calling and speaking to me? How'd you get into my house? <laughs> Comics and chill core? I can dig it. I can dig it. That's not true for like gaming streams though. Gaming streams I talk about horny intrusive thoughts and the like. Not mine, that of the main characters. <laughs> Ariana, I think I drew your boobies too big. We're gonna and shrink in those boobies. I nerfed her. Oh god, I'm so sorry. So sorry, my daughter. You don't get to be one of those anime waifus anymore. <laughs> without call without authorization, the company started calling my home phone. Oh boy, I love that. Gross. Yeah, it's like I have um I have a setting on my phone turned on so that if I don't have the number in my contacts, my phone won't even ring. It just sends them straight to voicemail. Ariana's drawn by you in elementary school. Shut up! Oh my god! I, I scripted a video about that actually for one of my NaNoWriMo scripts, so that video will be coming out eventually. Eventually. I don't have probably sometime maybe before the end of the year. Who knows? But yeah, long story short, for those who don't know, uh, I got banned from drawing in elementary school because I drew girls with massive bahonkadonks. Um, because I didn't know how else to draw them, and I got banned from drawing by my fifth grade teacher. <laughs> Rightfully so, probably. Where can you find the comics? Uh, right here! <laughs> There's a link in the synopsis in the chat. Hmm. 
now sitting differently. Dong Hong Bonkadis? I am not gonna lie, I thought that was a funny name for Dongan Ronpa for a second. Dongan Ronpa, dang it, Grandpa, Dingle Wrangles, Dongaba Hong Bongadoos. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I read that as at first. It's like, oh, they're making a dung and rumpa joke. Oh no, wait. Because <laughs> there's a it starts with a D and there's a G approximately in the middle. Donga rompers, yeah, exactly. Some of the dongle rumpa characters have big dong honga donga bongs. They've got huge dong and rumpas. Which is weird. But that's anime for ya. That's anime for ya. <laughs> Dong and Ronkins. <laughs> yup. Yup, it's them. It's one of them dang and gangles. I am amazed that Dong and Rumpa as a franchise is still going. Like, I go to a con and I still see, like, a handful of Danganronpa cosplayers at, like, every con I go to. And I remember reading that comic on the Something Awful forums in, like, 2014. Earlier than that, like, 2013. I'm like, my god, is this series still popular? How? How? How does it have the longevity, my god? What is the secret? I guess the secret is teenagers killing each other, but like, damn? It's just impressive that it's like, that people still care after all these years. And them animes, yeah. Secret of the Edge? Oh, yeah. Clearly I need to make Cast Off edgier so it'll appeal to the, the teen, the trendy teen audience. I'm gonna kill off one of them on the next page and you guys get to vote and decide who. <laughs> One of them has to die in order for the comic to stay relevant. Hi, it's me, Todd HBO, and I'm going to kill off one of your characters so that your series stays relevant and people will want to watch it. Murder the child. Very different energy. <laughs> Sailor Moon fans are crying. Well, yeah, but like, here's the thing is that Sailor Moon's like, Good. Oh, they're gonna get the teens are gonna come. They're gonna cancel me now. Holy shit. Oh, oh snap. Oh shit. I said it. I said it. I said that. Where's my air horn button? Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh my god. I said a spicy on my stream, and now all the dangle ramps teens are gonna come and cancel me. Oh my god. <laughs> wasn't said on TikToks, teens won't be here. It's, you're, you know what, you're right. You are right, that is true. Someone clip this and put it on TikTok. <laughs> Things I'm gonna get canceled for. Saying that and Ropa isn't as good as Sailor Moon because Sailor Moon is like actually good. Um, calling Love Live mediocre on our podcast. Horse related crimes. Y'all don't know about that one. <laughs> you might if you followed me on Twitter for long enough. But that one was <laughs> Sailor Moon, but they're actual sailors. Did you mean a group of NPCs? In our D&D game? <laughs> horror crimes? Yeah, horse crimes. When I was in college, um, my friends had one of those, like, Mimi horse masks. And we just got up to shenanigans with it one night. So there's pictures of me wearing a suit and a horse mask, like, fleeing down the stairs of our apartment complex. <laughs> After presumably committing horse-related crimes. <laughs> horse-related crimes, surely that's just cast off. Listen, you're not wrong, but these are different horse-related crimes. Really want to see these pics? I think if you just, like, look up at the starfish face horse, you will probably be able to find it pretty quickly. 
That's how I like go back and find like old tweets is I just look up my username and then a keyword I can remember being in the tweet and you can find it in like two seconds. You just gotta know what to search for. After my school, it was a lizard man who ran around shirtless. Oh no, I was, I was very well dressed. I just had a horse mask on as well. Very cursed. One time my roommate dressed up as the girl from the ring and just wreaked havoc on our uh, our dorms and we jump scared like 12 people. It wasn't even close to Halloween either, so no one was expecting it. <laughs> Need to get money to commission Star to draw my player's horse phalanges. You could not pay me money to draw a horse, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will never draw a horse by choice. People who are actually drawn. No, don't actually clip it. <laughs> don't actually clip the dang and rumples. Oh no. The teens on TikTok are gonna cancel me. No, kickstart me drawing one horse. <laughs> $10,000 crowdfund for me to draw a horse. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> So hi! <laughs> stop talking about the Make Star Draw a Horse Kickstarter. No, stop it. I had to be cool. We just got a raid. <laughs> and I love that there's 69 people. Nice. <laughs> nice. They're here to cancel me for horse crimes. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> nice. Nice. The nicest raid imaginable. <laughs> Heckin' amazing. Anyways, hi everybody! I'm gonna drop my raid intro in the chat if I can remember what page of my stream deck it's on. Here it is! But yes, hello! My name is Star. I am an artist, and I am working on my webcomic right now. It is a whole webbed comic. Amazing. What were you guys doing? I hope you had a nice stream. What were you up to? <laughs> I think this is the amount of people in, in enough to convince Star to draw horses. I will never willingly draw a horse! and I stand by that. <laughs> Hold things. Ooh, like what? <laughs> Ooh. Tried to make a butt brush earlier. It was very controversial. Don't tell them about that. <laughs> Stop. I have to make a good first impression in front of the new friends. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Time for more horses. No. 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 No more horses. No more horses. I refuse. People who are good at drawing horses scare me. They're a different breed. I'm gonna bite my fingers off. It's very scary. <laughs> yeah, webbed comic. I, I really like to say, like, webbed site. Like, elongating the word website into, like, fully saying it webbed site because it just sounds so cursed, and I think it's very funny. I think it's very funny. No better first impression than cake. Stop it. <laughs> I'm so afraid to ask, but how did horse get brought up? Um, I've had to draw horses in my comic a few times, and most of the time, if I have the option to do so, and it's not doing like a cool pose, and it's not the most important part of the page, I'll usually just trace over a 3D model. And I was streaming while I was doing those pages, and so now there's just talk of horses on my stream now. Thanks to these nerds. <laughs> Magnus Ironside, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. I appreciate it, friend. Thank you. Hope you guys are having a chill day. <laughs> Haunts. <laughs> Horns. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let me grab some sip of my water. I hope the new folks, I hope y'all enjoy the vibes. We have been trying to decide on a name for the vibe. Um, <laughs> they're so close to that 5k on YouTube. No, I'm not. I'm like 900 away, I think. I'm at 4,162. I got a bit more to go. <laughs> I got a ways more to go. How 
many do I have on Twitch, though? A little bit less. I always find it funny that, like, I've been streaming on Twitch for, like, six years, and I have a little over 3,000 followers. I bumbled ass backwards into doing YouTube, and now I have a bigger audience there. Like, okay. Okay, then, YouTube. I... <laughs> Fine, I guess I will use your platform more. I I stumbled my way into using uh using YouTube. Like Twitch, the platform I accidentally I like actually put effort into? Nah. YouTube, the one that I literally just like uploaded one stream VOD that just went viral. Well, it, it didn't go like viral, but it made me jump up to like 4,000 viewers over the course of like half a year. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube is like, hey, hey, baby, come here. I'll treat you right. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in, more raid folks. What's up? But yeah, I hope everybody's having a good day slash night. We are here just drawing, drawing comics, listening to lo-fi versions of, like, video game music, chill soundtracks, etc. You guys, I'm so excited for Pokemon in, like, two weeks. Is it next weekend? Next Friday, I think, is when it comes out. Where's my calendar? It's on the 16th, right? That's a Wednesday? release date. 18th. Damn it! I'm not gonna be able to pick it up probably day of because I've got a con that day. Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> well, it depends on what time the artist alley is done and how late my GameStop is open. But I have an anime convention I'm gonna be at that weekend. Catch me playing Pokemon under the table <laughs> at Anime Austin next weekend. Oops! <laughs> Looked away and when I came back, Spec sent us here. Nice avatar, nice expressions drawing. Thank you! I appreciate that. Yes, welcome to the vibe pit. It's pit. Surprise. But it's friendly. We could get it digitally. I already reserved it in my GameStop! And I like having physical copies of games because I like to put uh, the little game cases on my bookshelf. They look nice when they're all lined up. But yeah, catch me playing Pokemon under the table at Anime Austin next weekend. <laughs> probably gonna be a kind of a slow con, so. Nicer to have them physically. I agree. I agree. I like having physical versions of games. And then also, if I get bored of it, I can trade it in. I don't think I would trade in a Pokemon game. Because past a certain point, they like they feel like collector's items, you know? Like, this is a little token of my childhood. But I have traded in some games, and you can't trade in physical copies of games. So, you know. Reject modernity. Buy physical editions of games, I say. They're more fun that way, I think. It's nice having a little cartridge, a little thing in your hands. I bought a couple of, like, indie games digitally, but it's not the same. Like, AI Somnium Files, the game that I've been playing on Fridays. Um, I bought that one on Steam, just because, A, I couldn't find a physical copy being sold anywhere near me. Uh, and also, it was on sale on Steam last week, and so I, I got it for like eight bucks. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's better than 40. I'll take it. <laughs> Surprise fit if I had a nickel for every time I had two nickels. When was the first time? I feel like I need to know about this originating surprise pit so that I can go find them and sue them for using my idea. How dare. <laughs> Um, you're not allowed to have a surprise pit. I came up with the idea first. My original character, surprise pit. Original character, do not steal. Like, uh, what do you mean character? It's a hole in the ground. Yeah, but it's the surprise pit. It's my favorite character. <laughs> What'd you think of Gimmagool? It's a little weird little guy. A little weird little guy. That's the only opinion I have on him, really. I like to reserve my, um, my feelings until, like, I actually play the game, you know? 
Baby Me One sold like 30 physical games for absolute peanuts to GameStop. No, heckin' rip. Tony Tuber pulled me into a pit. Oh shit, it's the pit. <laughs> That's the pits, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I rearranged my stream deck and now I don't, I have like less confidence when I'm pressing my buttons. I gotta get used to it again. And move stuff around to make it a little bit more, di like, more organized. Now I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm almost ending this page though. This is gonna be one of them easy pages because it's mostly characters and the backgrounds are all just gonna be painted later. One of them easy pages. Where's my water? I'm thirsty. Daylight like savings time messed me up so bad. It gets dark so early now. We need to just go ahead and kill it off, please. I am physically, mentally, emotionally done with daylight savings time. The sun sets at like six now. What if I want to take a walk? I have to do it during the day? What the fuck? Kill daylight savings. Destroy. Everybody put your hands in the air and send me your energy and I personally will kill off daylight savings time. <laughs> I will destroy it myself. With my- with my lasers. <laughs> that was gonna be killed in like 2024. I don't know, I haven't looked- I need to like actually look into it. I've heard it was like, it's still in the- court or something it has to like has to be actually considered or something i don't know i'm just ready for it to be done hydrate uh -huh. Uh -huh. the last panel i have to ink of this page i might actually get both pages done tonight incredible more blank thank you for the follow welcome to the stream squad <laughs> Thank you for coming. Glad to have you. Let's go. But yeah, for those folks who uh, came in from the raid and are still here, this is my webcomic cast off. There is a link in the chat. I like the alert music. Thank you. Um, all my alerts are Wind Waker sound effects because it's my favorite Zelda. And I happened to have on them on my computer when I was setting up my alerts for the first time. So, you know. Sun starts setting at like 4 p.m. over here. Ah, gross. I like to take evening walks because the evening is when I get like antsy and I want to go outside. I work from home and I need my outside time. But now it's like there's so little sunlight. Like I want to go outside, but I want to go outside in the evening because that's when I have my like my brain juices flowing the best. When in doubt, Nintendo game music. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yup, 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 yup. Definitely so. It's like some Nintendo games, um, they get mad at me for using their music. Like, Bravely Default. I have a couple of clips from Bravely Default 2 from when I played that game. They come up in my, like, highlight reel during my starting soon screen. Um, and every time that, uh, that clip plays... Um, I get a copyright notice on YouTube, and I mean, I cut out my opener anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, it's just like, your video has been flagged for copyright by Nintendo of America, and I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm gonna get rid of it. Sheesh! <laughs> Sheesh! My little boy. My little lad. Want to see my little lad. There he is. I want to see my little lad. <laughs> Look at him face. Him lad. Really? That's wild. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I think maybe it's uh, like Sony or something. I don't know. Whoever owns the rights to that music, they're real persnickety about it. I've never gotten flagged for any other type of music on my stream, except for like the handful of times where I was just like, yeah, fuck it. It's a karaoke stream now. I've gotten like content flags for those, of course. But... 
The Bravely default is the one that happens the most. Really backwards fan decisions. They really do. It's a pain. Like most of the time video game soundtracks are fine. But I play like lo-fi remixes of them anyways to avoid copyright shit. My favorite thing is in I, kids probably still do this, but I remember I was very into like the AMV circles on a uh, on YouTube when YouTube was just barely starting to be a thing, and uh, people would always put like the what they meant was no copy like I do not intend to do any copyright infringement, but what they would write is no copyright intended, and I'm like that's. Not how that works, but I... <laughs> and, like, it was funny when it was just one person, but, like, everyone said it like that. It's like, no copyright intended. I'm like, do you even know what the words you're saying are? Like, babe. <laughs> Look at that sentence again. Look at that sentence again. What do you think a copyright is, bud? You, you good over there? You think about the words that you're saying. Hey, <laughs> studying copyright in law school taught me one thing. There is no legal system. There is only monies. Yep, that's the vibe I tend to get. I mean, come on, we've been playing Ace Attorney. There is no legal system. There is no law in this land in Japanifornia. <laughs> Ugh, I want to do more Ace Attorney merch, but I have no ideas. Not like that stopped me before, but still. I like Ace Attorney. And I'm glad that the fandom has lasted this long. It's like, yay, Ace Attorneys! Can't believe all these attorneys are Ace. We love to see it. Such a beloved franchise. I wonder if they're ever going to put out a new game. I wouldn't mind another great Ace Attorney game. That, 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 that duology slapped. <laughs> It's like, I like, I love it as just the two, because it tells, like, a completed story. But also, I really love those characters, and I would love to play with them more. I want to learn more about Sholmes. <laughs> I remember a year or two that I seen your booth at a convention, and I just handed you $20 for no reason. Wait, which convention was this? I don't remember this. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> I'm very curious now. Also, you have peeped my 3D model. Amazing. <laughs> it's very hyper-realistic, is it not? Not you, Siri. I hear my Siri beeping in the other room. I want another Great Ace Attorney so much. Me too! Oh my god. I love that series so hecking much. It's so freaking cute. Oh my god. I just want to know more about Sholmes. He's so stupid. Let me in his brain. I want to bounce around inside there like a ping pong ball. Let's go. <laughs> Think anime con or something. I'm sorry, that does not narrow it down. I mostly do... I've pretty much only done cons in Texas and Atlanta, though, so... <laughs> That does not narrow it down. Artist Alley is one of the main pillars of my income. I do, like, multiple conventions per year. <laughs> Can you remember at least what city it was in? Because that would narrow it down pretty significantly. Anyway, I'm done inking this page now. Yay! The rest of it's gonna be added when I do the painting steps, when I shade the backgrounds, but yay! Yippee That's one page inked, and now it's time to move on to the next one! A normal one, where nothing bad could possibly be happening. Never. One page down! Yeah, I nailed it! Please come to a Chicago Con one day. When they let me in, then I will! But they gotta let me in first, or I gotta get invited. The Fantasy Boy! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. I don't know if that's how your username is supposed to be pronounced, but there were two Y's and I felt like you needed some salt on it. Boy! 
Have you applied to any of them? Uh, I mean, applications aren't open year round. I think ASEN like just opened their application today. I need to go in and apply for it. I've applied for ASEN in the past and they haven't let me in, but. I will try again. <laughs> that was okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> happy scream we saw there. I believe that was a happy scream. <laughs> Come to C2E2. I think I applied for that one. Um, I know I applied for Emerald City Comic Con and I think also C2E2, but I don't think they've, uh, I don't think they've announced results yet. Or at the very least, I haven't gotten an email about it yet. I would come see you in Chicago. Yeah, like I want to start branching out and doing cons in more cities. They just gotta let me in. Let me in. I'm banging on your door. Let me in. <laughs> Think it was in Atlanta? Then that would have been either MomoCon or Anime Weekend Atlanta. Because those are the two cons that I've done fairly consistently. But Awa didn't let me in last year because they were rude. Uh, neat Nat, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. I didn't see the alert go off. I might have missed it. But I see it in my little Twitch notifier. Ugh. <laughs> a mystery. Did it go off and I just didn't see it? Did somebody see the follower alert go off for that one? Because I didn't see it. Titanium Phoenix, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. If you are made of titanium, then can you still fly? If you are a phoenix. Important question. <laughs> E2E2 said they announced you got in on December 13th. Well, come back to me on December 13th. <laughs> and we'll all find out together. We'll gather around my inbox and do a little prayer dance. Because, yeah, like, I would love to do cons in other cities. I'm going to uh, Florida next uh, yeah, next month because uh, I got into Holiday Matsuri this year, and I'm very excited about that one. I'm bringing my mom with me because she wants to go to Disney World. <laughs> Never been asked that one before. Welcome to my streams. I'm going to ask weird questions about people's usernames if I strike, if they strike me as funny. He who thinks they have the funniest username, follow me on Twitch and I will make a funny joke about it. <laughs> That's what I had to do with fantasy boy. <laughs> Who probably just got jump scared. I'm sorry for saying your name again. Dream <laughs> alert did happen when I followed. I just pretend like I sneaked in through the back door or something. Oh, sneaky, 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 sneaky. <laughs> Sneaking in my back door like that wasp that was in my house earlier today. For those who were not here at the start of stream, I had to fight off a wasp earlier today. Got into my house. And I... I didn't... I, it, like, crawled into my blinds, and I, I taped off my blinds with packing tape so it wouldn't fly out into my home until I could deal with it. <laughs> you should check out the subscribe sound effect. Ooh! It's the final brain cell! do 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 Excellent. Excellent. Yes. D do people do that every time you follow them? I'm very curious. <laughs> that one is very good. That one's very good. I think the music would be a little more discordant than that. Yo! Speaking of discordant... <laughs> Perfect freaking timing. Discordant noise. Thank you for the five gift subs. Let's heckin' go. Where's my... Where's my... Where's my here it is? Let's heckin' go, thank you. That was amazing timing by chat. My goodness. Every time my name pops up and I love it every time, bless. Amazing. <laughs> thank you for the five gift subs. I super duper appreciate it. Everybody say thank you to Discord and Noise if you just got a gift sub. Say thank you. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. <laughs> very good. This is very good. You're still wrong about broccoli. What did I say about broccoli? Are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight right here on stream? 
I remember we talked about broccoli on an earlier stream and I said that broccoli is fine to eat uncooked and yes, it still is. Oh, Discord is wrong. Okay, that's good because I'm always right about everything. So, you know. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Fighting in my chat. Oh my God, you guys are actually gonna fight. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, be nice. Don't actually fight in my chat. I'll kick both your butts over the internet. You reply to yourself. Oh shit, sick burn. Sick burn, bro. <laughs> Star, stay out of this. It's my freaking stream! It's my freaking stream! <laughs> mm. I've seen your TikToks before and I gotta say I love your content and energy. It's amazing. Oh, well, thank you so much! I, I'm glad that you appreciate the, the mildly cursed vibes. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad that someone's seeing my TikToks because TikTok sure doesn't like to show them to people unless it's specifically videos of me talking about how there's no such thing in cheating in art and so many people get really, really mad at me. But I just dunk on them for clout and move on with my life. Stop fighting in the chat! Stop it. Bomb your dodongos? That better not be a euphemism for something. I better not be! <laughs> no fighting! If you guys are gonna fight, take it backstage behind the Denny's. Clop back. Clop app? Clock app? <laughs> Doesn't like to show people. Actual good content. Like my good content. <laughs> Like your art style and sub to your webtoon when I never got around to read it. Well, you should. You have homework now. Go read my webcomic. Cast.5incomic.com, baby. Let's go. Fight, fight, fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> kiss and make up. I'm the, I'm the fight. I'm the content choreographer. Y'all. <laughs> Quit fighting about vegetables in my chat! You guys are a bunch of nerds! You hear that? Nerds! <laughs> you gonna fight? Can you record it so I can see it later? <laughs> I'm watching the starfish face. Yeah, people are trying to watch me do my do my little activities on stream, and you guys are over here fighting about vegetables. Says hi chat. Hi Midnas! <laughs> hi. Is that a is it a cat? Or what kind of creature is that? I feel like you probably said in the past and I forgot because I have a shit memory. <laughs> tactical milfs, what? Bunch tactical milfs in your direction? What is a tactical milf? What is a tactical milf? Stop fighting and explain to me what a tactical milf is! <laughs> Coming to loud noises. Welcome to loud noises. There's a fight happening in my chat, and for some reason I'm I'm not involved. I don't know how this happened, but it did. I desperately need to know what a tactical MILF is, and no one will answer me! MILF the place Final Fantasy Tactics. You know what? I'll take it. Because I know that MILF is when you really like fishing. If you're a MILF, it means that you really like fishing. Because it's an acronym for Man, I Love Fishing. So. Yeah. Fishing? Yeah, fishing. I thought it was man, I love frogs. You can love frogs and fishing. There's different genres of MILF. Some MILFs like fishing, some MILFs like frogs. Some MILFs like fucking. We don't judge. Unlike Discordant and Budu, who are fighting about broccoli for some fucking reason in the chat. Stop, don't make me come up there. 
Don't make me come up there. I'm gonna come up there. Don't make me come up there, because I will. Slap some sense into both of you. Oh, I got small. Whoa, new raid. <laughs> Semo, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the totally normal and not at all cursed stream. <laughs> welcome, 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 new friends. What the heck is going on? How you doing? Oh my gosh, wait, I forgot. I have a thing I can do on Twitch now. Hold on. Hold on. Does this work? Does this work? How many underscores is that? One, two, three. Unrecognized command. I spelled it wrong. Fuck. One, two, three. Boom. I did it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Twitch has a new thing now. I wish I could automate it whenever a raid happens, but I can't. Anyway, thank you for the raid! How was your stream? What were you doing? I hope you had a good time. Tell me all about it. Also, welcome to chat. <laughs> yeah, it's a new thing. Heckin' new thing. New thing that Twitch just did. Again, I wish I could automate it somehow so that it could do, like, I could just press a button and it would do it for whoever raided last, but... Keep getting a network error? You can watch it on YouTube instead! They probably can't hear me. Here. I will. Post a link to the YouTube if I find it. Boom. <laughs> I multi-stream. You can watch it there too. Someone tell them in chat. I have to draw. <laughs> Think mods can do it for you too. Oh yeah, I can just make my mods do it for me. <laughs> but have, have a good one. Thanks, you too. Here, I'll do one for Spectisa too since, since that already happened earlier and I forgot that I have a do thing. Um, here. Only one shadow can be active at a time. Please wait a minute. I thought I did wait a minute because the thing wasn't there anymore. Fine. Do it later. <laughs> Finish inking this panel and then I'll come back and do it again. That's my uh, Hatio Joe Sama. <laughs> Character and I have a cute little anime girl, Thumpy Sai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> anime girl thighs. No! Sai! Get your mind out of the gutter! Sheesh! <laughs> okay, it's been a minute. Can I get this to work now? I typed it wrong! Fuck me! Tom was Atlanta. Oh, that would have been last year then. Sick. I did it. Everyone clap for me, chat. <laughs> clap for me. Clap for me in the stream. I wonder, can I just like, I would love it if I could just like click on a person's name and just automatically give them a shout out. That would be very handy. Oh, you're actually clapping for me. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently auto mod blocks the male version of MILFs. This is a MILF only chat room. Whoa, that didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> the secret, loud applaud noise. Oh wait, I have a button for that. Hang on, hang on. Yay! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hyper Flash is immune! <laughs> immune to the chat to the stream bot. Immunity. <laughs> oh, I just allowed Dilf for you. Dawn with the Dilf power. Coming in with the power of the Dilfs, Dilf immunity. Oh now they're all gonna say it. Oh man. <laughs> Have to manually allow them. Don the dill filter. The d filter. Mm. 
The filter, yeah! Filter, vector angry. Yeah, he's making a face. What have you gotten upset about this time? Uh, he ate too much brown bread and now he has a tummy ache. Obviously. Obviously. Like, straightened my anime glasses. Obviously. <laughs> Beautiful chaos, so glad I was a part of Spex Raid. Yeah! We needed some brain cells around here, TBH. <laughs> Happy scream, sticking with this head cannon. Very optimistic of you. <laughs> it came in at broccoli hour. Broccoli hour! It's only broccoli hour for you, Badu. Why do you guys come to my stream specifically to yell about broccoli, huh? Will I reincite the fight if I say that bell peppers are better than broccoli? Spicy take alert. <laughs> no, you're correct. There we go. See, we can agree. Pretty weak take there. Ooh. <laughs> Brain cell is operated by a very overworked hamster in a wheel. <laughs> there it goes. Oh god, he's going so fast. Oh no, he, he's spinning around. He's spinning around. He's doing that thing where hamster he run too fast and now he's spinning around. Oh no, there he goes. <laughs> oh no. Hang on, I'm getting an ad on Discord. Who's talking to me? Who's talking to me? Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> I need to get some spicier takes to make Discord and I fight. Okay. Um, I'm not good at spicy takes. Uh, cayenne pepper. There, is that spicy enough for you? <laughs> is that spicy enough for you? One time I had a burrito so spicy that I started crying, but I kept eating it because it was really tasty. <laughs> Why does my boy look weird? Why does his face look weird to me? His face just looks weird to me. I can't put my finger on what is it what it is exactly. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, I'm not sure if this counts as a pet peeve. People who are mean to service workers. Is that a pet peeve? That feels too big to be a pet peeve. The sound of a number two pencil on a single piece of notebook paper on a wooden desk. The sound of it? Like, that very specific sound, it's worse than nails on a chalkboard to me. Like, it's... ugh. It is the worst. Very specific... specific specifically. Um, number two pencil, not a mechanical pencil, because mechanical pencil leads are usually too thin. Number two pencil on a single sheet of notebook paper on top of, like, a wooden school desk. The worst sound in the world. Like, I remember when I was in school, um, I always had to, like, keep a notebook on me. Or, like, multi whenever I had to, like, write something on a piece of just normal paper, I would always, like, take out multiple pieces of paper so that I wouldn't have to, like, feel the scratch of it. Ugh. What about nails on a single piece of paper on a wooden desk? That's also bad, but more tolerable. I don't like the scratch. I hate the scratch. I hate it. 
I hate it. It's like the sound of it. It's just... My, uh, my brother and my dad were helping me sharpen my kitchen knives the other day when they were over visiting. And the sound was similar and I got like full body chills and my teeth hurt. It was the worst. Ugh. The nastiest. The nastiest. Like if you have it on mo if you have two or more pieces of paper between the pencil and the desk, it's fine. If you're just drawing directly onto the desk, it's fine. But something about the combination of sounds and textures. When you are drawing with a number two lead pencil on a wooden desk on one sheet of notebook paper. It's extremely specific, but I hated it so much I had multiple strategies to avoid ever having to hear it. It physically makes me ill. <laughs> Smacking their mouths while they're eating. Oh god, yes, that too. I never eat on stream because I'm self-conscious about that. I think I've only eaten on stream like one time. It was just because like I got a cookie during like a snack break or something. Oh yeah, no. Um, when I was a teacher in Japan, we had uh, we had whiteboards or uh, we had blackboards in all the classes, and I had to use chalk. And just like every time I would write on the chalkboard, I had to like immediately go wash the chalk off my hands because it just felt so gross. <laughs> Mithril Cobalt, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. Beep, 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 what am I doing? I have air horns. Thank you. Welcome. How's your day doing? We're talking about the worst sounds we've ever heard. What's the worst sound you've ever heard? <laughs> Okay, someone sneezed before a meeting and they were sniffling periodically for the entire duration because I wouldn't blow their nose. No! Illegal! Go immediately to jail! Ugh. I remember that's another thing from when I lived in Japan. Apparently, like, blowing your nose is, like, really bad etiquette over there. Like, if you blow your nose, you're supposed to, like, go into the other room so that other people don't have to hear it. But I would much rather- me personally, I would much rather hear you blow your nose than hear you sniffling. The entire day, sniffling and snorting is gross. Ugh. Ugh. We are sounded called dorm fire alarm in the middle of the night. Oh, that's bad too, yeah. Big oofer doofers. Just check that sound on my decks. Notice, never notice is annoying because apparently I like that sound. I remember it because I tried it and it registers as calming to me. I think maybe you just have like a different combination of things. It also kind of depends on like, the texture of the desk. But I just, uh, there's just something about the way it grits. It's just, it, I can't, I can't, can't do it. Ugh. 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 Like, just in general, the sound of, like, a paper, like, someone writing on paper doesn't bother me. It's just, like, very specifically... Just, like, the combination of pencil on paper on wooden- on one sheet of paper on a wooden desk. It's just, like, the exact combination of sounds and textures. Just major no. Major no. Whatever the opposite of ASMR was. Blech. Horrible laminated particle board desks. Yes, those little pieces of shit. Blech. Oh, I guess another pet peeve since we're talking about it. Uh, people who don't pick up after their dogs. I understand this more now that I have a yard. But like, it was also especially prevalent when I lived in an apartment complex and people just like would not pick up after their dogs. I'm like, bro. Clean up your dog's shit. Also, people who throw cigarette butts out their car window. There's part of me that wishes- Okay, so like, if I could- If I- If a genie teleported down in front of me and said, I will give you one superpower, what superpower do you want? I would obviously pick teleportation because I hate commuting and I would want to be in places without having to pay for transportation. I would go to so many goddamn conventions and then just go home at night and sleep in my own bed. <laughs> and it'd be awesome. But- 
If I got two superpowers from the genie, my other power would be to cause minor inconveniences to people who are being rude or just like inconveniencing other people. Like if you drive down my street and you're blasting your music way too loud, um, I wanna be able to stare at your car for a couple of seconds and break your speakers. <laughs> if I see you throw a cigarette butt out of your car window, I wanna be able to use like telepathy and just shoot it back into your car and ruin your upholstery. I want to like telepathy, maybe I just want telepathy. <laughs> But I want to be able to use telepathy on stuff that I don't know is happening. Like if you poop, if your dog poops in my yard, I want to be able to teleport that poop into your yard. Telekinesis, yes. Like if you inconvenience me, I'm going to inconvenience you right back. I want that to be my like, that's my second choice of superpower. If the genie says, no, you can't do teleportation. I'm like, okay, give me the power to just be a nuisance to people who are rude. <laughs> Telekin nephews? No, that's when you have telekinesis, but it only works on your siblings' children. <laughs> Want the power of karma. I guess I do. I guess I do. Instant karma. Teleporting poop into other people's yards. <laughs> your dog poops in my yard? No, that poops in your yard now. Psych! You're blasting your music at, like, really stupid loud volume really late at night. Fuck you, your speak is broken. <laughs> Power vibe check. Yup. Yup. That's the ideal. I think about that every time I am minorly inconvenienced or annoyed in a place. It's like, damn it, wish I had that superpower. <laughs> Downstairs neighbors will turn on the music for hours and it literally makes the whole floor shake. No, no, that type of shit is what inspired me to want this power. My sophomore year of college, I had uh, next door neighbors in our dorm who were so fucking terrible. They would smoke weed and play obnoxiously loud music constantly. And because we shared a wall with them, we could smell their weed and their music would shake us, would shake our walls, like, fucking constantly. And we called the RAs about it so many times, never fucking did anything. And I was just like, I remember at one point, did they share the weed? No, I don't want your fucking weed, it smells terrible. They tried to share it with the RA who came to, like, yell at them to turn their music down. I wish I had called the cops on them. There was one point where it was, like, 3 a.m., they had been blasting their music all night, it was shaking the walls. And I like had something to do the next morning and I was like literally laying in bed having a panic attack because I could not sleep and they were driving me so crazy. I should have just called the cops on them with a noise complaint. Then they would have gotten dinged for having weed. I wish I had done that. You hate to see the corruption. Yup. Shit sucks. There was a rumor that got passed around our friend group that um, they, those guys weren't allowed to live on student dorms anymore because they um because they got so many complaints but i don't know if that's true or not their argument was that they were sound design majors so they needed to play music without headphones because it it sounds different when you're playing it with headphones and we're sound design majors and we need to be able to listen to our music at a stupidly absurd volume that literally can be heard from downstairs and we live on the fifth floor and their doors are closed. Like literally, you could hear them on the street five floors down and we lived right next to them. The worst. The worst. Ugh. But yeah, so that is why I want the ability to break people's speakers with my mind. <laughs> Did you remember the two guys banned from shooting with a PB gun at the fourth floor dorm window? No, when did that happen? I don't know if I ever heard about that. Holy shit. What the fuck? She's Louise. 
college. First year I got hit on the cheek. Oh, damn. No, I didn't- we didn't know you back then, so I guess we never heard that. What the fuck? Making me legitimately upset listening to it. I'm sorry. Yeah, people just fucking suck. Grabbed a broom to hit the ceiling and I didn't think I was hitting the ceiling that hard, but now there are three small holes in my ceiling. Oh no! Oh man. Did you at least do it for a just cause? Yep, I'm glad I didn't go to college. College was fun! Shitty neighbors or not. But shitty neighbors are a universal experience. At the apartment I was in until last year, um, our upstairs neighbors would have, like, kids running around and screaming and stomping at, like, 11 p.m. And my brother and I called in noise complaints on them, like, ten times, and they never shut up. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Righteous anger. <laughs> yeah. Very fair. This expression isn't quite right. Looks a little too concerned on this panel. She's supposed to look more confused based on the dialogue. Waffle House and every night someone would park outside the waffle and just blast music. Ugh, hate that. Hate that. Hate that a lot. Why do people suck? Question. Why do people suck so mad? So bad? And waffle Houses should reduce property value. You live within a hundred miles of a Waffle House, your rent lowers by a hundred dollars. <laughs> Government sanctioned Waffle House discount. Waffle House proximity discount. <laughs> <laughs> the wa proximity, the waffle proximity. Someone else work on that. <laughs> Joe Biden calls you and says, we're sorry you live next to a Waffle House. Here's the Benjamin. <laughs> Hashtag brand new sentence. <laughs> I don't even like Waffle House. No upsides. No upsides. Careful, buddy. You're going to start an argument with someone who likes Waffle House. Not even the hash browns. Not even the hash browns. Hash browns are good. Hash browns are good like road trip food. Hash brown. What what do you what are, what are like little hash brown nuggets called? Tater tots. <laughs> hash brown nuggets. Just the little ones. brown nuggets. I like that. I'm going to start calling him now. Oh man. Earlier today I was trying to th I was trying to remember the word symbiotic, like a symbiotic relationship, and I could not think of it for the life of me, so I just like sat there staring at my Discord like in my computer. I was just like 
What's codependent but with animals? <laughs> I was legitimately about to type that into Google. My like, codependent relationship, but they're creatures. <laughs> what is that word? Symbiotic. The word is symbiotic, although it's, it's slightly different. It's not quite the same, but that's all I could think about for whatever reason. Yeah, tater tots are good. Ash nugs. That's that sounds like a weed thing. Ashnug sounds like a weed thing. Don't talk about weed things in my chat. You're gonna give me war flashback to college when my neighbor smoked all the weed, and we had like a door that separated our two dorms because um, our our dorms were an old motel and we shared a wall and a door with them and we had to shove a bunch of fabric underneath the door so their weed smell wouldn't seep in quite so much, but it still did anyway. You're gonna give me trauma flashbacks. <laughs> Actually, in band, laser pointed they pointed at the car, blasting music for two hours one night until they left. Nice, nice, get them, get them. Yeah, Vector does look like he's venting to Ariana about his terrible neighbors. And they just, they just, they blasted their music all the time. All the time. <laughs> it was at 3 a.m. and they wouldn't turn down their music. And Ariana's just like, damn man, calm down. <laughs> he's so mad. Deserves to break down, yeah. My boy's got a lot of problems. Who who could have done this to him? Who could have given him all these problems? Thing and killed my grandma. Bold of you to assume he has a grandma. Miss Jacobs is the one with dead parents. Oh no! Vector doesn't have dead parents yet. Yet. Yet! Bad neighborhood canon is clearly superior. Yep. What's the cast off crew's taste in music like? Um, I feel like I've talked about this before, but not on a stream. I feel like Rory would be into dubstep mostly because it annoys Ariana. Um, Ariana would be into very like angry, like rock music. Vector, I always associate Vector with like calming acoustic guitar music. You star, you gave him these problems, says who? Says who? You have proof? You have proof of that? You gotta back that shit up with evidence or no one's gonna believe you in court! Dubstep's still a thing? I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Maybe it's not as popular, but I mean, it's still a genre that exists. Frankie would like, like, everything and have the most eclectic Spotify ever. <laughs> Angry rock music? Ariana? No, no way, right? Biggest plot twist ever. What do they usually talk about during the long travel periods? Probably the kind of shit we talk about on stream. <laughs> Frankie likes banjo music? Oh, absolutely. I've always just pictured their playlists as their music taste. That's also true. That's also true. It's mostly songs I associate with them, but it also kind of like, I do have some songs in there that's just like, this is a song that this character would listen to. You mean they talk about buttholes and hot dogs? Stop it! Stop! 
But no one who asks how, how to cook hot dogs? I hate all of you. You're all banned. You're all banned. <laughs> Xeraxis, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. I'm sorry that everyone in my chat is making a horrible first impression. Stop it. <laughs> You're making me look bad. I feel like that guy from Courage, the cowardly dog. Stupid chat. You're making me look bad. <laughs> that was not his accent, but whatever. Good work, team. Shut up. So angry. I zoned out what's going on. I got a new follower right as everyone was talking about the cursed shit that I've said on stream and it's very rude. Very rude. You started it? Shut. No. No. Stop. Stop. Do not indoctrinate new people into the butthole chat. Stop it. Listen, just because when I play Bloodborne, I stab things in the butt a lot and I have to say, haha, butthole. Stab you in the butthole. It doesn't mean you get to make it into a dumb meme and say it all the time and bring it up as like emotional blackmail for me. Stop it. <laughs> Blurred Barnes, shut up! Oh my god, I'm being bullied. You do this to me? You would come into my own stream and you would bully me? More like butt born? Shut. I'm gonna fight you outside the Denny's. I'm gonna teleport you to a Denny's and I'm gonna fight you. Stop! Stop, butt board. Stop it! You're the one saying it, not us. I'm. Don't head pat me. I'm gonna bite your hand. Ow, ow, ow. Get that hand out of here. Get that head pat out of here. Mm. Mm. You guys are being mean to me. Thought every time you stab something in the butt. Yeah, you do! It's part of the game! Damn it! Uh, the star's going feral! Yeah, I earned it. I earned the feral time. This is completely apropos of absolutely nothing. I saw a TikTok the other day that was a guy who was like, found like an underground hornet nest. And he had like a vacuum cleaner on a long hose, like a shop vac. And he was just, as they were flying out of the nest, he was just sucking them up. And I'm like, okay, that's very cool to watch, but now you have a shop vac filled with wasps. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that shop vac after you're done sucking up all those wasps? You're just gonna have a buzzy shop vac. <laughs> This is just filled with wasps! Wasp grenade god, right? <laughs> stretch break. Everybody stick your hands in the air. It's a stretch break. Stretch breaks. Throw it in their loud neighbor's apartment. God, right? <laughs> hornets are underground now. Yeah, I guess some types of hornets can make nests underground now, which is like scarier than anything I've ever seen in a horror movie, honestly. Tactical wasp cannon. And you put the shot back in reverse and you just... <laughs> Fuck you! Hornet beam! <laughs> Hit the reverse button, yeah. <laughs> what do you do with a vac full of wasps? What? I cast bees! I cast bees! <laughs> Hey, here's an idea. Fuck you, fills your home with wasps. <laughs> Found one of those underground nests one day when mowing the lawn. No! Did they, did they sting you? Did they attack you because you mowed over their home? Oh God, that's so scary. I don't know if subterranean wasps live anywhere near that I do. I hope they don't because I have a yard now and that means I have to deal with it if it ever happens. <laughs> The revenge bad neighbors need to be non-violent or at least plausibly deniable. They can- listen, the police cannot prove that I cast bees upon these people's house. They can't prove it. They went after my butt hardcore. Oh no! That's awful, I'm sorry. Oh, that's gotta be the worst. Big oofs. Ugh. Well, at least you didn't die. Unless you did and you're coming to us from beyond the grave. They buried you in the same ground as the wasps. Ugh. Oh no. I 
I don't want to be buried when I die. There's already too much weird shit in the ground that I don't want to have to deal with. I don't want to be neighbors with a bunch of wasps. No thank you. If you have to bury me, at least do it in an interesting way that's going to confuse people, or like anthropologists a thousand years from now. Sheesh. Get cremated and planted to the tree. Yeah, something like that. Just smoke me. <laughs> like, I remember watching a video once about like all the things that morticians do to prep bodies for funerals. Like the whole embalming process. And I'm like, yeah, no, don't do any of that shit to me. Like, I'm an organ donor. You can take those. But just don't, don't do any of that weird shit to my corpse, please. That's a little, that's a little too weird. Just smoke me. I don't want to go in the ground. There's already too much weird shit in there. <laughs> Petroor, hello! First time catching the stream. Sorry you came in on all very strange conversation. <laughs> Best revenge is non-violent. Something so bizarre and so ridiculous no police department would ever believe it. Psychological damage is longer lasting and therapy is more expensive than a normal doctor. No, no, no. Listen, here's what you do. Here's what you do. In the middle of the night, you install like a hose, like a small rubber hose that goes all the way from their house to your shop vac. Eventually, the wasps will have to go down the tube and enter their home, but they will do it like slightly spread apart and not all at once. And they'll think they just have an infestation, but it's actually you with the shop vac full of wasps and a piece of rubber tube. Make them go crazy with wasps. With the bees. Use your shop vac full of wasps for good or for evil. <laughs> Delayed cast bees. Yeah, cast bees is a ritual. It's the same spell, but it takes longer. <laughs> I cast bees. God. I just want to see someone do that. Like, it would be terrible, and I wouldn't want it to happen to me, but I want to see someone push the reverse button on a shop vac that's full of bees and just see what the fuck happens. They're going to be so confused. They're just like, God, where are we? I remember my first apartment after I moved out of my parents' place. I was living with a roommate. And at some point, we had just like, we had just a fruit fly infestation. Like, they were all over our kitchen and we didn't know what the fuck to do about it. We tried making, like, traps for them, where you put, like, apple cider vinegar and fruit in a, like, a Coke bottle. And you make a funnel into the Coke bottle so that they go down into the Coke bottle and then they can't get out. And, um... <laughs> I should have made the cursed item I gave you shoot out bees. God, yes! <laughs> New cursed item! The bee cannon. <laughs> but, uh... We just had like all of these fruit flies in our house and we'd like, we put the traps out and they wouldn't actually go in the traps. They would just chill on the funnel and not go in the traps. And we got so mad that one day I just lost my mind a little bit. And there were like 30 of them hanging out on this one tr fly trap. And I was just like, you know what? I'm feeling kind of feral today. And I went and I got our vacuum cleaner and I attached the hose, and I walked into the kitchen, and I sucked up all the fruit flies out of our kitchen with the vacuum hose. And the best part is, it worked. We didn't have fruit flies anymore after that. I got rid of them, I just shucked them all up. And it got rid of the problem. It worked, it did, it worked. <laughs> and we didn't have fruit flies anymore after that. It was amazing! 10 out of 10! If you are suffering from flute flies... Flute... Flute flies? Flute... Fruit... Fruit... Flute... Fruit... 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 Fruit flies... Just slorp them. Just slorp them. Honestly. Fruit flies bothering you? Just slorp them, baby. Just slorp them right up. Modern problems require modern solutions. Yes, exactly. I think I drew a comic about it, actually, because it was so fucking funny. 
It's like, back to, to hell from whence ye came, motherfuckers. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> Oh, sorry, stream, stream, stream elements still thinks I'm playing a video game right now. Just ignore stream elements. I forgot to turn that timer off before the stream started. I forgot. <laughs> Vector, I just couldn't stand the music, so I filled their apartment with wasps. <laughs> Starfish face stream. Just slurp them. Just slurp them, honestly. Just slurp them. Having a problem? Have you considered slurping it? Just slurp up all your problems. Hole full of bees in your backyard? Just slorp them. Got a bunch of fruit flies that won't leave you alone? Slorp them. Bad neighbors? Slorp them. Feed them to a squid. The squid will slorp them for you. <laughs> Curious Illustrator, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. It's not murder if I don't, if I'm not the one who kills them. I simply push them into the water with a giant squid, and the squid does all the work. <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here with Slorp It! Curious Illustrator, I'm sorry that this is the vibe that you are walking in on. <laughs> sorry about the weird vibes. Except I can't really apologize because all my streams are like this. I think that's second degree murder. Who's counting? Who's counting? They can't prove anything. What are they gonna do? Fingerprint the body? There's not gonna be a body left! I fed him to a squid! They can't prove anything. Can't prove anything. There's a little I had a bug catching toy called a bug vacuum that does exactly what you think it does. Did it slorp him? <laughs> just slorp the prosecutor. Yeah, exactly. It's Petra. I just swapped to Twitch. Oh, hi. Welcome to Twitch. <laughs> fingerprint the squid. The squid's not going to have my fingerprints on it. It's a fucking squid. Plus, squids are underwater. I don't think you'd be able to get any good fingerprint evidence off of a squid. Hang on. Can you fingerprint a squid? Cute fingerprint squid t-shirt tea public. Nope. <laughs> you cannot fingerprint a squid according to Google. Um, this is what I've discovered today. <laughs> What did I just come back to? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The uh, person is guilty of murder in the second degree when, with intent to cause the death of another person, he causes the death of such person or of a third person, except in that any prosecution under this subdivision it is an affirmative defense that A, the defendant acted under the influence of extreme emotional disturbance, or for when there was a reasonable explanation or excuse. Again, how are they going to prove it when the man's body was eaten by the squid? Think about it. I have a pretty solid case here. They cannot prove it. As long as no one else sees, they cannot prove that I fed that man to a squid. They'd have to catch the squid first. Good luck catching a giant squid. No, no one's ever seen one alive. <laughs> no one's ever seen one. How are they gonna catch it? Do you know how big the ocean is? It's fucking huge. <laughs> oh, okay, that's entirely fair. Continue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Assume there was a reasonable explanation or excuse for the squid feeding. Yeah, you having a problem? Slorp them. <laughs> uh, I love Mario Sunshine. I haven't played it on stream, though. I would love to play that on stream. I don't have the remake, but I have the original on the GameCube. I have the original. Slorp them. Wasps in your yard? Slorp them. Fruit flies in your sink? Slorp them. Neighbor playing their music too loud at 3 a.m. Throw them into the ocean and let them get feasted upon by the giant squid. Slorp them. <laughs> I've seen weirder arguments in law school. Now I feel like I need an example. <laughs> Someone to dock magician. <laughs> Oi. I need a bathroom break. I'll be back in like two minutes. You guys better not say anything weird in the chat while I'm gone. Don't say anything weird. I'll be right back, I Be right back. Take folks to school. Hello, welcome to magic school. Uh, 
in, on today's today's episode is going to be real short. Uh, my my magic academy is that it's fantasy and I can do what I want. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I will be taking questions backstage at a later date. Uh, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Uh, I will be I will excuse myself now. Thank you for coming. Appreciate your business. Bye uh, bye. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> now I have three dudes. Hello, hi you guys. Who's ready? For case three! Come on, I press the button. I press the button! No, my air horn button is... My air horn button's frozen. Air. And back. And back. I hope you guys didn't do any crimes while I was gone. I'm going to ignore what's in my chat. <laughs> Stop it. No more of that. I got 20 minutes left to stream. I'm not gonna be able to finish this page, but there's not not a whole lot left. So maybe I'll just keep streaming until I'm done inking. I've only got a couple panels left and they're all like easy peasy headshots. So I think that maybe I will just keep streaming until I'm done. Boom, headshots. No, not like that. Not like that, silly. <laughs> what an example. Where the judge started the opinion by asking the question is, what is a chicken before defining it at length for pages, which my contracts professor taught while dressed in a chicken suit? <laughs> like, I need you to describe this chicken suit for me. Like, did it have like fe feathers? Was it like a kigurumi or what? 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 How good? How good was this chicken suit? That's amazing, but I need to know more details about the chicken suit. <laughs> Photos, amazing. Yes. Real law school is just as weird as an Ace Attorney. That makes me so happy. I wonder if anyone, like, in real life has tried to interrogate a parrot for evidence. <laughs> it looks like a chicken, but bigger. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. That's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Book full of stupid things people have actually said in court. I want that. I need that. I need that in my life. during Ace Attorney, attorney streams. <laughs> There's someone on TikTok who does like reading iconic court transcripts in just like a in just like kind of a chill but kind of like lots of vocal fry kind of voice. It's very funny. She's got like sunglasses and she wears them upside down. It's very, very good. I don't think I follow her, but I enjoy every time she comes up on my like TikTok for you page. I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> Chicken suit became a thing next semester. The constitutional law professor taught a class in the same suit after hearing about it. I think Danish police have arrested a parrot they found at the hideout of a drug ring. How did they arrest a parrot? Was the parrot in on it? This is just giving me more fodder for that bird heist video game that I want to make. Bird heist. This video game about birds performing a heist. Doesn't have to be a video game. It could be any kind of game. <laughs> hey, Jay, if you're still here, I need you to help me make a, like a TTRPG, but all the classes are like different types of birds and you have to get together and perform a heist, but you're birds. We talked about it on the last art stream, I think. They protected the bird's identity and this is not a joke. Oh my God, that is amazing. I also love, like, I know what you mean. But I love that when you said, this is not a joke, it's like, does this sound like a joke to you? They arrested a parrot. Stop laughing. <laughs> they put the black bar over the parrot's eyes. Oh my God. That is incredible. Incredible. Important character witness, parrot. 
I love it. I love that. Like, unironically, that is hilarious. <laughs> the birds work for the bourgeoisie. Yeah, maybe that parrot needed to be uh, arrested for bird-related crimes. What kind of crimes would a bird commit? Tax fraud. I don't even know why I'm asking. It's obviously tax fraud. I don't think Jay is still here. Or if he is, he's not paying attention to the stream. I'm gonna DM him later and tell him he needs to help me make a TTRPG system where it's you all play as different types of birds and you commit a crime. Maybe there can be different kinds of crimes for the birds to commit. It's gonna be the next big TTRPG. Move over Dungeons and Dragons, here comes Bird Heist. The heist game where you play as birds. I mean, they have Honey Heist. It could be Bird Heist. <laughs> Industrial espionage? Yeah, probably. I believe it. Do you think you could train a pigeon to kill a man? You think? You could probably train a crow to kill a man. Already have. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Watch your backstory. Why are you sending your attack pigeon after me? What have, uh, what have I done? Aside from provide you with hours of entertainment and a cute nickname. Come on. What do you? Don't do this to me. What have I done to deserve being hit by the murder pigeon? <laughs> spy gets turned into a pigeon. I've never heard of that. What movie is that? Not necessarily doing it, just remember. Very spooky indeed. I'm I'm curious now. Have crows ever committed murder? Wait. Wait. Fuck. Shit. No. <laughs> Wait. No. Murder of crows. I can't. Hit and <laughs> no! I did a stupid. <laughs> I didn't even think about that till after I typed it into Google. I have to hit enter. I have to see. Yeah, the first thing that pops up: a murder of crows. Crow facts for nature on PBS. Fuck me, ugh. <laughs> I did a stupid. <laughs> I did a stupid. <laughs> Everyone laugh. Point and laugh. Point and laugh. At the streamer being stupid. Ugh. Murder of crows. Ha 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 ha. Spies in Disguise. I need to look this up. I've never heard of this movie. It sounds incredible. Will Smith is in it? What the heck? Have I never heard of this movie? Who made it? Who made this movie? I've never heard of this. Yeah, I need to, I feel like I need to watch this now. No, oh, I've never seen this. What the fuck? It's got 6.8 out of 10 on IMDb. Wow, yeah, I have no idea what this is. Who made this? No, maybe I've seen a trailer for this. Huh. I feel like maybe I, the, the, the birds look familiar. I feel like maybe I've seen this before. Not the movie, but like the, the trailer or something like on TV. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I 
I don't know how to take the- I don't know where to take the conversation anymore. Just like talking about birds killing people, like what do we do after- what do we even talk about after that? We talked about bee cannons? We talked about murdering people with squid? But it's not murder, because I can get away with it if no one sees me do it. Can't charge a squid with murder? <laughs> Oh, don't start the broccoli nonsense again. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oi. Stop it. Oh man, you guys would not believe how long it took me to sketch this Ariana face. And try to get the expression just right. Too long is how long it took. He like hunched over my computer. Trying to draw a face. Will Smithbird is gonna intercept your MILFs? Ugh. Stop. Rare soft Ari, yeah. Here's the truth. Ari's always soft. She just doesn't want to admit it. She doesn't want to be seen as weak. She's an alpha. <laughs> That's why her name starts with an A. Fun fact, that's actually how I name most of my characters, is I just like look at them and I'm like, okay, you look like your name would start with this letter. And then I just start coming up with names that start with that letter. Until I come up with one that I like. That's why Vector's name is Vector. I'm just like, this guy looks like his name would start with a V. And I just said words and names that started with V until one stuck. That's how I named most of my characters. <laughs> Your D&D also soft because Ari? I mean, her whole thing is like, she was soft until about half a year ago. And just her whole life got shit turned upside down. In the worst possible way. But I'm not gonna spoil it. You guys gotta go watch our D&D show. Boom jams. <laughs> because he has both magnitude and direction. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Get out of here. This song is great. Look at the name. Theme of Frog who's just kind of taking it easy right now. It's very cute. Does Vector is minions? No, stop it. No. Stop. Get out of here with that shit. Stop it. <laughs> Just listen to the soothing frog music. And minions can vector- Stop it! Just listen to the soothing frog music. Don't think about Despicable Me references in my chat. Stop it. Org. Yes. Confirmed. If I can be honest for like two seconds, like I don't fully understand how cro how frogs have like such a big cult following around them. Like I don't hate frogs. I don't I don't like love frogs either. I'm very like neutral about frogs. Except that one time I was in an exotic pet store and I saw a Pac-Man frog eating a mouse and I was traumatized. But aside from that, it's like. I have no strong feelings one way or the other about frogs, but so many people like really love frogs. Did you guys know that there's like a frog con? Like a convention just entirely about frogs? I found out because one of the artists I follow apparently like sold their art there. 
be very glad Yui isn't in this chat right now. No, I know. It's just like, why why are so many people like really crazy about frogs? Like, I would love someone who is really into frogs to like explain to me what the what the adoration with frogs is. Like, I have strong feelings about frogs. <laughs> <laughs> the streamer brought it up once on stream. Because, like, cats, dogs, I get it. They're just cute little guys. But frogs is like, I don't know. Like, why do people like frogs so much? I'm not saying that I hate frogs. I'm just, like, I'm ambivalent about them. And I'm curious. They're just funky little guys. <laughs> Played the PS1 frogger when I was little. It indoctrinated me for life. More like trauma regarding the unforgiving life system. You have to save every frogs you see. They make funny sounds. That's true. They do. <laughs> they do do that. They're all the ribbit these days. Boy. <laughs> you round or funky little skinny lad and everything in between. I love using the word lad to talk about animals. It's like, look at these little lads. Look at them. When I hear someone use the word lad to describe a frog, I just think of a frog in like a newsboy hat. Here to sell you the news. And sit on a lily pad. He's gonna sit on a lily pad. He's gonna tell you the news. <laughs> <laughs> Save the frog if you can reach the frog before life kills you in one age. <laughs> frog in a newsboy cat is so cute. Anything is cute if you put it in a newsboy cap. And that's not cap, that's fact. Haha. <laughs> You're up in an area where lad was used all the time. I'm a bit desensitized. Jay! Good! You're still here! I was trying to summon you earlier and I guess you were distracted. I have an idea for a TTRPG system and I need your help. We're gonna make a heist game. But all the character classes you play as birds. But all the character classes are different birds. <laughs> Get on it. I don't know how to make a TTRPG system. I'm just the ideas guy. Make it for me. <laughs> I was working. I know you were. I know you were. I was like, man, I hope that Jay's still here because I have got the best idea ever. And I'm going to tell him about it as soon as I see him. <laughs> I was going to suggest something easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you make that. I don't know anything about making game systems, but uh, you have fun with that. Just say that I inspired it and we're all good. <laughs> These tips and ties in mine right now. Hell yeah! Make the bird game! Sell it on DM's corner or whatever the website is. You've told me and I forgot. I'll make a million dollars. New D&D. &D. Let me hyper-focus it into existence in about 10 hours. Yeah! Let's go! But yeah, we were joking about this on a previous stream. I'm like, man, I would I would like make a comic about this, but I feel like it needs to be like a TTRPG. Like pelicans, they can hold a lot of stuff and they're huge. <laughs> Seagulls are loud. Seagulls would be like the distraction because they're just so fucking loud. Timber doodle, what's a timber doodle? What's a timber doodle? Pelican tank, yeah. The pelican is the tank and it's also the getaway vehicle because all the birds just like get in its mouth, fly away. <laughs> Play as retail workers where the customers are mobs and the managers are the boss stages. Oh my God, amazing. Amazing. Doofly goes, hello! Now that you're here, it's time to end the stream! Good stream, everybody! Thanks for coming! Next year- I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I wanna finish- I wanna finish- I have three more panels to ink! <laughs> three more panels to ink, and then I'm gonna call it a stream. I don't publish anything because I'm bad at formatting and can't draw. Give them to me! Give! Give to me! <laughs> Give. Grabby hands. Grab, grab, grab. You can't see them, but I'm doing the grabby hand gesture. Grab, grab, grab. <laughs> King for timber doodle. Let me look at this bird. I want to see this bird. 
<laughs> I want to see this bird. Oh, what are those little fuckers? You should have just said it was the wamp bird. <laughs> wamp. Yeah, American Woodcock. I know what that is, because that's the one that has the word cock in it. So, of course, that's what the internet always calls it. The internet loves its cocks. Like the bird. Wait. <laughs> The bird Timberdoodle is the best name for that verb. I I don't disagree with you. I just think it's funny. It's a way. Yeah, it is. It's the way bird. Wait. Wait. <laughs> also called the bog sucker. Why do birds always have the worst names? Why do birds always have like the weirdly horniest names? The great tit, American bog sucker. <laughs> I'm just gonna look up weird bird names now. This is just a stream now. Weird bird names. The oh, okay, 28 bird species. Um Okay. The Satanic Nightjar. That is a bird. Yup, confirmed for bird. Boobies. Blue footed boobies. Yup. Little Bustard. I mean, yeah, that is a bird. It do look like that. Uh Dick Sizzle! Dick Sizzle! Why is it called that? Okay, moving on. Tiny Sky Tyrant. Tiny Sky Tyrant here. I'll link you guys I'll uh, link you guys to this article. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the go-away bird. The go-away bird. Um, penduline tits. Ah, yes, I love me some penduline tits right there. <laughs> Horned screamer. Yeah. Um, fluffy-backed tit babbler. Uh, hmm. A uh, sad flycatcher. I mean, it, it, it does look kind of sad. Uh, here, what the fuck am I doing? I could be showing you guys these birds. I could be showing you guys these birds on stream. What am I doing? Hang on, give me one second. Um, add a display capture. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Get that out of here. That's my OBS. Get that out of here. Don't look at my desktop. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Uh, window capture. There we go. There we go. Funny birds. Funny birds. Birds with names. Here. Funny. Funny birds. Bird species. Anyway, let's look at these birds. So yeah, Satanic Nightjar, there it is. <laughs> All right, was that animated trip? No, that's Great Ace Attorney, you plebs. <laughs> yeah, so there's a Satanic Nightjar. Boobies. Boobies, we love a good boobies. Men will literally name all the birds instead of going to therapy. Um, Little Bustard, look at him, he's kind of cute. He's got like a neck. It looks like a duck, but different. It's like a land duck. <laughs> um, Dick Cecil! Dick Cecil! <laughs> uh, tiny Sky Tyrant. <laughs> As opposed to Big Bustard, yes. Tiny Sky Tyrant. 
Yep. 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 <laughs> the go away bird. <laughs> the go away bird. You see this bird and you go away. These are two completely different birds. These are two completely different birds. This one looks like some kind of raptor McFuck. This one just looks like a bird. Like, come on. Um, the pendulum tit. I love some pendulous tits, am I right? Am I right, lads? Ha 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 ha, silly silly funny bird joke. Um, horn screamer. Horn screamer, it's a bird that screams. Um, the fluffy backed tit babbler. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, yes, it is fluffy. It is, it is fluffy on its back. Tit babbler. What the fuck? All right. Sad fly catcher. I mean, he does kind of have a sad look about him, right? He screams he's got a horn. I ain't got nothing better. It's true. It's true. Okay, I haven't seen past this. There's apparently 28 of these birds, so we get the next 18 and put together. We're gonna see them together. Sh smew! My smew! Smew! Smew, I'm gonna cook you up and do a smew! New idea for an art stream? Just calling, just drawing weird birds? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we're just looking at birds now. We've reached the point of the stream where we're just looking at birds. This happens every stream. Classic smew moment. Yup, <laughs> yup. <laughs> Stupid bird named September. Oh, we missed it. We missed the somber tit. <laughs> I prefer the term goth. The somber tit. It's when your titties get sad and they deflate a little bit. <laughs> All right. The typical Swift. Typical Taylor Swift fan. They're typical. So fucking typical, am I right? Ugh. Ugh. Birds with hands. Birds with arms, yes. I love them. All right. European shag. Hey, what's up, darling? I've got- I went to Britain this weekend and got myself a European shag. You got a what? Are you cheating on me? No, it's a type of bird, darling. <laughs> We're breaking up. I'm sick of you. <laughs> All right, moving on. The rough face shag. Oh no. That's that's the aftermath of the European shag. First you get a European shag and then you're you're like not feeling so hot and then you get a rough face shag. <laughs> the common loon. Commoner, get the shit out of my face. The red rumped bush tyrant. Smew! Smew! He's also a smew. Look at him. Look at him. Peak performance. <laughs> Peak performance. Smew. All right, moving on. The noisy pitta. The noisy pitta. It's not a normal pitta. It's a noisy pitta. I'm gonna go take a shitter. After I do my pitta. Let's go. <laughs> the noisy miner. Yeah, everyone on TikTok. Oops, moving on. <laughs> moving on. The Spangled Drongo. This sounds like something you have to say in an Australian accent. This feels like a bird you have to say it in an Australian accent. Like, you'll just be talking. He's like, oh yes, we saw a lovely, uh, we saw some lovely uh, birds out bird watching this weekend and we even saw a Spangled Drongo. <laughs> Someone say stream elements tell us about cast off? Yeah, you did just now. A hoary puffling. Now that's just mean. It is an Australian bird. That would make sense. That would make sense. Hoary puff leg. I mean, its legs look pretty normal to me. Legs look pretty normal to me. That's all I'm saying. Swallow. 
I mean, if you're gonna be gross about it, then yeah. Then yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess. I guess. The ruddy pigeon. I mean, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It's pink. It's pink. Look at it. It's pink. Is that an African or European swallow? Get out of here. Get out. Be gone. <laughs> a drab seed eater. <laughs> my favorite species of birds are the one named by people who clearly hate birds. <laughs> fucking drab ass seed eater. God, what are you eating? Some fucking seeds? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought you were eating. Some fucking seeds. God, idiot. <laughs> The perplexing scrubrin. <laughs> My god. The loathsome dung eater. Yes. The loathsome seed eater. I mean, it is very orbular. It's very orbs. <laughs> Why is it perplexing? I mean, it's very round. Put a lot of thoughts in there. Monotonous lark. Why are they just so mean to these poor birds? Not monotonous. Look at its cool feathers. It looks like the top of a Danish with almonds sprinkled on top. I'd eat it. Anyway, we got two more. Noisy friar bird. What is going on with its face? It looks like one of those dudes from the Dark Crystal. I don't know what they're called because I have never seen the Dark Crystal. But I've seen dudes that look like this on Tumblr, and people said they were from the Dark Crystal. So I'm 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 taking it and I'm running with it. Um Noisy Scrub Bird. So many noisy birds. I mean it's true, they do make a lot of noise, but still. But still. Noisy noisy boys. Okay, enough birds. Enough with the birds. No more birds. Everyone say goodbye to the birds. Goodbye, birds. Back to work. Back to work. Bye-bye, <laughs> birdies. Mountain chicken. <laughs> Joke's on you. I've seen that TikTok. I know what a mountain chicken is. It's not a chicken at all. It's a type of frog. No, I've seen that TikTok. <laughs> you fool. I'm chronically online. You think you can pull fast one on me? Haha, -ha, I do know. I know all things. If it's important, I know it. And I am chronically online, it's true. Yeah. -ha. Uh. Okay, let's finish inking this dang page. Let's heck and go. Pew, 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 pew. I might go into focus mode a little bit here. Because I would just love to finish inking this page tonight. So I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. I can just color tomorrow. Huh. Tried to bring it back to frogs. <laughs> you tried. You tried very hard. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. When you get all the birds, but not enough seeds. I don't know. It just rhymed. I'm trying to think of something that rhymed. I was just trying to make it rhyme. I don't know. Birds eat seed. Birds eat seeds. <laughs> Dilfs unbanned. Let's celebrate. <laughs> celebrate your Dilfs. Come on. I'm gotten to the part of the stream where I'm getting tired. Getting tired. But I want to finish inking this page. I want to finish inking this page. But I'm sleepy. I want to go play Arknights. <laughs> I want to go play my cat girl tower defense mobile game. Arknights, sponsor me. 
Sponsor me! Tired of birds? No, tired in general. I am sleepy. I've already eaten. I ate an early dinner because I knew it was going to be streaming. poopy parakeet in the caption when you don't get the C, murder is the only option. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I'd believe it. Birds can, will, and have committed murder before. We learned this earlier in the stream. I already made this joke, but I'm doing it again. Date is a dilk. Dad, I'd like to kill- Oh! We've only known him for three hours! We've only played the game for like three hours. <laughs> People already want to kill him. I mean, listen, he's cringe. Listen, he's cringe, but is he worthy of murder? No spoilers, please. Not like any character from that game. He's cringe, but he is free. I don't know if he's free, actually. Got a hot lady who can read his thoughts. That feels like the opposite of freedom to me. It's like the opposite of Ace Attorney. Oh no. Well, I'm having a fun time with it. So there. We'll see if that changes. I paid $8 for it, so I'm gonna keep streaming it. <laughs> I don't know enough about the characters yet to have any strong opinions. He is just cringe. That is my opinion on Date. He's cringe. I'm so tired. I want to end stream. I've reached about my limit, but I want to finish inking this page. I'm so close. I'm so close, damn it. Oh, so here's a thing that I discovered recently that might be the topic of a future stream. Um, so I told you guys how I used to be obsessed with Hamtaro, right? Well, I found out very recently, like in the last week, that one of my childhood favorite video games, Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak, is extremely easy to find online as an emulator. So... <laughs> that will probably be a stream at some point. You can play it just within the browser because it's a very light game. So that's a thing that will probably be happening at some point because I really want to play it again. Game Boy Advance game, speedrun Ham Ham Heartbreak. I could. I could. I don't know if I remember it well to like properly speed run it, but I don't know if I could beat that game all in one sitting. It's a little long, but I could attempt it. It would probably take two streams, but then again, it might only take the one. It's just, it's been so long since I've played it, but I don't think I could beat the whole thing in three hours. That seems like a bit of a task. <laughs> <clears throat> All your faves in Ham Ham Heartbreak EMU speedrun. I wonder if Ham Ham Heartbreak has ever been played at uh, GDQ. I freaking love that game, man. It's probably glitchy as hell. 
Probably get some fun speedrun hacks out of it. If it hasn't, you could be the one. I could. I could. Hang on. Someone has to have speedrun this game, right? It's a fucking beloved childhood game. Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak Speedrun.com. The world record is an hour and 20 minutes. Oh my god. Yeah, like even. Wow. <laughs> From one month ago. Amazing. Some some player in Japan beat it in an hour and 20 minutes. God damn. Amazing. <laughs> Time to get into speed runs. I've always been like fascinated by speedrunners, right? Because, like, in order to get good at speedrunning a game, you have to just play the same game over and over and over and over and over again. It's like, if you're a speedrunner, how do you pick which game you speedrun? Like, it makes sense if it's like a really good game. But there's people who participate in, like, GDQ who play just, like, the trash games that are just, like, super-duper glitchy. And it's like, how do you decide to devote your life to that? Why do your expressions on this page make me worried in advance? How upset am I about to be? Ah, uh, medium. Medium, probably. Ariana face is bothering me. I feel like her chin's sticking out too much. Like, it's an upsetting topic, but they're not mad at each other, if that makes sense. That feels a little better. Vector's just ranting. The shovers jaw straight back into her head. Yup, just slurp, just slurp it. That's the motto of the stream. Just slurp it. So I'll cry but not be scared for them. Not yet. <laughs> People believe breaking a trash game has a comedic potential to it? Oh, absolutely. My friend held the world record for speedrunning Animal Crossing on the GameCube. How do you speedrun Animal Crossing? What's the completion scenario for that? Is it just like pay off your house debt? What's the completion uh, qualifier for that game? Because it is notably a game that cannot be beaten. Pay off the whole house debt, damn. How long does that take? I mean, I imagine original Animal Crossing's gotta have some kind of crazy wacky glitches that they never patched out, right? I've seen Dawn this active on stream. Do we just need to talk more about birds and frogs? I mean, Dawn used to come all the time, but I think, like, yeah, Dawn said she was, like, busy recently. I mean, Dawn's a mod for a reason. Used to be here, like, every single stream. <laughs> oh, I'm getting emails. <laughs> Dawn may have alerted me. Oh my gosh. That's why you're here. You heard us talking about frogs and Yui was summoned. <laughs> Amazing. It's like, yeah, I'm never gonna get mad at people for not coming to streams anymore. Just cause, or just like as often. Just cause like, I understand people have lives. It's fine, it's whatever. <clears throat> Setting the dilfs free. <laughs> Yui, come on stream. Star has opinions about frogs. Oh my god. I don't have opinions on frogs. That was like the whole thing. I was just curious, like, why people like frogs so much. And you know what? I got some answers. Most of them boiled down to little guy potential. Which is... I but... <laughs> usually napping through stream time. Yeah, I've been debating changing up my stream time slightly, but this is the time that's most convenient for me personally, just cause it's like kind of the end of my day. 
So I can spend the day prepping. And then by the time I start streaming, I usually have nothing else. I'm usually home and I've got nothing else going on and I don't have to worry about it too much. It's supposed to end when you start streaming on Monday and I reminded them today to stop going over. Ah, uh, stop going over. I want to go watch Star Stream. It's very important. <laughs> Bird fact one, pigeon. Those are birds, it's true. Okay, two more panels, let's go. Two more panels. Let's go. Ooh. Yay. Everybody stick your hand in the air and give me your energy. So I can finish inking this page. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the head pets! need to binge the Ace Attorney vid so I can actually watch the next time you do those. Well, you've got like a couple weeks because we're going to be on, um, what's its fuck? Somnium files for at least a couple more weeks, probably like at least a month. Like a 20 hour game is what I've heard. So we're gonna be on that for like probably a couple more weeks. Gives you time to catch up on Ace Attorneys. That was also one of the goals in playing a different game after finishing Ace Attorney 1. Partially so I don't burn out, partially so folks have time to catch up. It was when Star Breed Wind Waker and we all just kept redeeming drink water. <laughs> Drown me, chat. Drown me. I'm gonna get slorped. By my own chat. Hoisted into the ocean by my own chat. My sad boy. He's having a hard time. He's dealing with shit. He's like, we weren't on the comic for like 30 pages. 30 pages that we weren't in the comic. And Star just think that's okay. We're the main characters. <laughs> People on the regular website aren't gonna see any of us for another like two months. It's gonna be closer to 2023 by the time we actually get to appear in the comic again. It's been so long. It's sad about it, you guys. Like the comic wasn't even on hiatus, we just weren't in it. It's my comic, I'm the main character. Out of the entire cast, me and Frankie have had the fewest amount of panels and dialogue in this whole chapter so far. I'm the main character and Frankie's the favorite that everyone likes. <laughs> Comic isn't called Vector. Could have been. It's gonna be the sequel to Cast Off. Just gonna continue to name my comics things like single words with bad SEO. At least it's better than Psy, which I started about six months before Gangnam Style became the hottest thing on the internet. My first webcomic is ungoogleable. Ungoogleable. SEO is search engine optimization. It's how easy it is to find something if you Google it. I try to I try to search my comic on Twitter and I just get a lot of angry sports fans talking about like sports fans and reality TV show tweets and just like people getting their casts off at a hospital. <laughs> like, God damn it. But then I search cast off comic and it's all just my own tweets. I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> I've occasionally found like one or two people just like, oh my God, you read cast off? And I'm like, ha, ah, zing, got him. And then I'll just like real casually like the tweet and be like, hey, saw that. I'm, I'm, gl I'm, uh, I'm searching myself on Twitter. 
Ego searching, that's what it's called. It doesn't always have to be about you, Vector. Yeah, it does. He's a main character and he's a special boy. Look at him. Does this not look like the face of a special boy to you? I demand that you look at him. <laughs> look at him. His hair is big because it's full of secrets. Bethel boy. Goodest boy. Aside from Frankie, because Frankie is arguably the goodest boy. So most of my read cast off is between me and my real life friends. That's fair. I appreciate you doing the work though. <laughs> Everybody go tell your friends to read my webcomic. Word of mouth. Spread the good news of this sad, sad boy. This when you that face when they say they don't read cast off. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What if, I, what if I made that into, like, an actual meme? That feel when someone says they don't read castoff-comic.com. <laughs> he's not mad, he's just disappointed. He's sad, look at him. Look at his sad little face. The little guy. You're gonna make this little guy sad? You guys spent like 20 minutes talking about how frogs are little guys, and now there's another little guy right in front of you? <clears throat> no cast off me. <laughs> when someone sees been in the Discord for months says he hasn't read cast off. Jay, if he's here, he's lurking, because he's being lame and working. Alternatively, he's working on that bird RPG that I told him to write. I haven't seen him in the chat in a hot minute, so I don't know if he's listening. One more panel! One more panel! Almost. Give me one sec. I'm gonna scoot that over just like a little bit. Ooh, one more panel. And it's a sad vector. Wow, look at the lad. Look at him go. Look at the sad lad. <laughs> Zone Trigger, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. I'm inking my last panel of the night. I just gotta finish this one and then I can go and not stream anymore. I'm tired, but I want to be productive and I want to finish this dang panel. Just inking this dang page. Final stretch. Final lap. I feel like I need more energetic music for this. Hang on. Mm. Oh, this is lo-fi music. Here. Go oh, cast off. Thank you. It do go. <laughs> Oh no, we went from fun music to music is gonna make Star cry. Oh no. When we get to A's Attorney 3, oh boy, you guys. I have a lot of Godot feelings. Oh god. Sad bastard man. Oh no, did you mean my favorite? <laughs> gonna make any other comics in the future or do something bigger that with cast off in the future uh that's very far off and i haven't thought that far ahead yet um because cast off's gonna take me at least another seven years to finish at the rate i'm going Oof. <laughs> i don't really have the luxury of thinking about anything else right now but i like my comic i have no intention of stopping before it's finished at this point so I've thought about the kind of stuff that would happen in a sequel, but they're all like really vague ideas. So it's not actually like anything solid. And I think I'd probably want to do like something different at that point, right? <laughs> he has a lesbian vampire Twitch streamer comic concept that exists. Yeah, I'd probably do that one after cast off. That's the idea that's the most solidified in my head right now. Cool. Emo Vector in the Void. Mm -hmm. 
Mopey, have you plotted a slice of life? Uh, kind of both. There's definitely like a narrative that runs through it, but it's a lot less fantasy, more just like kind of um, urban fantasy gag comics. But also that one has like a very set like story in mind that I could probably fit in under one book, so it would be a shorter endeavor. It's like to the point where I'm considering pitching it as a graphic novel, but it's such a weird genre that I'm not sure if uh, anyone would want to publish it. Anyway, I'm done. Let's fucking go. <sighs> Inking two pages on stream. I remember when I used to be able to ink two pages on stream like nothing. Uh, and then I started talking to chat more. You guys are holding me back from my true potential. Ugh, I can't believe you would do this to me. Anyway, I'm gonna do my usual shilling now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go take a nap! A shower and a nap and I'm gonna eat some candy out of my Halloween bowl. Anyway, shilling time. So, thank you guys for coming to the stream. Uh, next stream will be on Wednesday. We're playing more Bloodborne with Brother. Um, and then Friday we're playing more, uh, AI Somnium Files. So, the stream will be archived on my YouTube, which you should subscribe to if you haven't already. I don't think I can hit this, but I would love to hit 5,000 followers by the end of the year. That would be swell. <laughs> and uh, also, I, I publish like videos and stuff that are art related. I've got a bunch of videos scripted, and I'm gonna have one coming out next Monday. I don't know what the topic's gonna be yet. I gotta decide, but yeah. Um, also, if you're here and you haven't followed me already, uh, continue consider doing that. If you're on Twitch and you haven't followed me on Twitch, you should follow me on Twitch. Uh, also, you can join my Discord. I think everyone here is probably on the Discord already, but if you aren't, there's a link to the Discord. The Discord is very much like the hub for all of my projects that I do, which is like my webcomic and my streaming and all the other stuff that I do. Um, if you're on YouTube, the links for all of these are down in the description, by the way. Um, I also have a store where I sell merch of stuff that I make. Um, and I'm warning people for like every, every stream that if you want something from my store, you should buy it soon because um, I'm gonna be out of, out of town most of December. So if you, uh, if you want to, um, get something for Christmas, you gotta buy soon. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, I'm too tired to raid somebody tonight. I'm, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Thank you all for hanging out with me and showing me birds and all kinds of stuff. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you guys later. Fairly well, friends. Goodbye.